Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Yankees Avenue watch party. This is game number 19 of 162. We got a little mid-afternoon action, 3.07 start time, which is in like a little bit over 10 minutes. For those joining us uh, right in the intro here in the live stream, apologies for being a little bit late today. Weekday day games, they are tough. And normally, I have something strongly against weekday day games because, you know, when with the work day and just they kind of sneak up on you very quickly, and that's what this one did today. But I'm ready to go. I am ready to go. We are here now. Live chat, how are we doing? I will see what you guys have to say in just a little bit. But before we get into that, we do got to go over today's lineup and starting pitcher matchups. Of course, the Yankees are looking to avoid a sweep today. And, you know, losing two two games uh, to begin this series, obviously their first series loss of the year. They also have now lost three straight, of course, with the uh, series finale against um, Cleveland getting walked off in extras. And I just want to say real quick, because I talked about this a little bit on Twitter last night. I've seen a lot of people say, like, oh, the vibes are different now with this Yankees team. Like, the vibes are trending down. And if you're just talking about, like, as a fan, sure, I get that. I mean, we lost three games. That makes sense. But when it comes to the team itself, I really want to emphasize this. Anytime you're losing, the vibes aren't going to be good. They shouldn't be good. When you're winning, the vibes will be good. So, like, I look back to, like, the series opening, uh, you know, the sweep against Houston, right? Everybody's like, this team is so fun. This team is special. This team has magic. Well, it's like, yeah, because they're winning. Another example on the flip side being the 2023 Yankees, we always say like, oh, that team wasn't fun. It's like, yeah, because they lost. They hardly ever won. All that ultimately matters is your performance on the field. The reason why the 2024 Yankees are, if we're going to say they're different, it's not because of vibes. It's not because of a different energy. I mean, that, that stuff is nice, and you definitely can notice it, again, when they're winning. But when, what will make this team different is the players being better, the on-field performance being better. And so far, you know, outside of these last couple of games, that has been the case. The 2024 Yankees are a much improved team compared to 2023 and compared to the rest of the league. They are one of the better teams in the AL right now. That just so happened to lose the first two games against Toronto, two games that have not looked particularly good, mostly on the offensive side of things. Of course, if there is a concern to have long term, I definitely still stand by that it's the defense. Rizzo does not look good. Glaber Torres continues to uh, make a couple of blunders. Although I will say, the more I think about that play yesterday where he threw over to third base, not a horrible play. Definitely not his biggest mistake of the season. It was, you know, as I said in live time watching it, if you got him out, I'm like, oh, that's genius. Way to be, Glaber. And then when you find out he's safe, it's like, bonehead decision. What are you doing? In hindsight, though, like to kind of put like a, a bow on that, that play, kind of heads up. Kind of heads up, especially when you look at if Oswaldo just gets the tag down, the guy's out. The runner at third base is 100% out, so I won't hold uh, that against Glaber. But with that said, two plays later, Jose, Jose Trevino throws down to second base. Would have been dead as a duck. The runner stealing, and Glaber Torres drops the ball. And that leads to the runner scoring uh, that was on third base. He ends up coming home to score because Glaber could not hold on to the tag. But that's yesterday. That is yesterday. That is now in the past. Today, we go, uh, we go for uh, hoping to avoid the series sweep. Again, it's going to be... Um, actually, I didn't even say this yet. Yankees are throwing out Marcus Stroman, which he has yet to pitch after a losing streak, but he does give you the vibes, going back to that word, vibes, of a guy that can be a good stopper for the Yankees. He's been really good so far this season. Last time out, not so much against the Marlins, but shit happens. He still ended up going five innings, which was nice. But overall in the season, 1-1 one one record with a 2-1-2 ERA, 106 whip in 17 innings pitched. I feel good about Stroman today. I feel really good, actually, in general about the pitching matchup because while we have Marcus Stroman going, who's looked good, the Blue Jays have Kevin Gaussman going. Now, I don't have a graphic ready for him. I was, again, a little bit late today, but the Yankees have hit Gaussman. Baseball has hit Gaussman so far this year. 0-2 with 11.15 or 11.57 ERA in three starts. But yeah, again, Yankees, last start against um, against Gaussman in Yankee Stadium. They scored six runs off him. Of course, if you remember, that came off of a, uh, a judge, two-run shot in the first. Giancarlo Stanton had a home run to right field. I don't know if Rizzo's was off of him as well. Probably not. That was a little bit later in the game. But bottom line is Kevin Gaussman, the Yankees, unlike UC Kikuchi and Chris Bassett, the starters for the Blue Jays' uh, first two games, they have hit Kevin Gaussman. They have good career numbers against him, not just from the last time out, but Aaron Judge has hit him well over his career. Giancarlo Stanton has hit him well over his career. Uh, Glaber Torres as well. So with that said, let's transition to what we got lineup-wise today. You're looking at Volpe, Soto, Judge, Stanton, Rizzo, Torres, Verdugo, Cabrera, Wells. Austin Wells back in there and catching, which that is nice. Trevino has certainly looked better as of late, and as of right now, he's technically the Yankees' uh, 
you know, statistically the better option offensively as at catcher. But for those who still have a lot of hope for Austin Wells, as you should, I mean, it's only been, he's played, what, 10 games so far this season. Obviously has not looked good, but this is this is a nice thing. Seeing him play two out of three days, I hope the Yankees continue to, to run him out there as much as possible. And of course it helps with there being a righty starter today. Yesterday being a lefty Kikuchi, made sense you start Trevino, but if a righty starts most of the time, at least for the beginning of the season, you got to give Austin Wells some run. And right now, second game starting in three days. Hopefully he does something with a bat. He looked good in the first game, like didn't have much to show for it, but he did have some hard hit outs. Hopefully either they find grass today or they find the seats because he still is looking for his first home run of the year. But again, Volpe Soto Judge, Stanton Rizzo Torres, Verdugo Cabrera, Wells. Same old story with a lot of these guys. You know, Glaber's got to get going. Anthony Rizzo, he's got to get going. And I'll say this, you know, guys, you guys know I'm the biggest judge guy in the world, and by no means am I concerned about him. But when the team's not scoring and the offense is struggling the way it is the last couple games, now is the time for Aaron Judge to step up. Now is the time for Aaron Judge to get going because if he does, that can, you know, cure our struggling offense like that. Juan Soto hasn't done all that much this series. Anthony Volpe, a very rare, very rare four strikeout game for him. And that's, I mean, that's kind of rare in general, but even compared to, like, compared to last year, that's rare. I mean, I don't know if he ever had a four strikeout game. Maybe he did. I don't know. But when it comes to this season, strikeouts have not been his thing, which has been really impressive as the Yes broadcast is getting going. But yeah, just an off day for Volpe yesterday. All good. Bottom line is you really hope the offense bounces back today. So Stroman on the bump. Nice lineup out there. Yankees are facing Kevin Gaussman, who last week they teed off against. Hopefully we have better luck today. Let me get my uh, get all my stuff ready to go. And we have first pitch coming up in a few minutes. Chat, how we guys, how you guys doing? Let me uh, let me refresh this now because I don't want to take a chance of my VPN shit in the bed. Mid first pitch, so one second, then I'll see what you guys have to say because this is a pretty big game. Definitely don't want to get swept, don't want to lose four in a row. And we have an off day tomorrow, so to kind of uh, save the morale of the fan base, a win today would certainly be huge. But how are we feeling, guys? What's going on? Um, Michael Bennett, what's up, bro? Says, uh, left school last block because of a study hall at 12 and got some KFC for the game on DoorDash, bro. Let's freaking go. A win would make this day so much better than it already is, dude. Michael, that sounds like a pretty dope setup for your setup for a good Wednesday, bro. KFC, little afternoon Yankees baseball. I will say with the afternoon games, a three o'clock start better than a one o'clock start when it comes to a weekday day game. So bro, let's get yourself a win today. Let's get the Yankees a win today. Cause so far it sounds like you're having a pretty good day. Non-mathematical must win. I agree, Nick. I agree. I uh, labeled yesterday as such. Of course they ended up going on to lose. And uh, that puts today as a non-mathematical must win times freaking two. So you are hundred percent right on that front. Now, let me just keep the lineup up here while we're uh, getting ready to go. What up, Morgan? How you doing, man? Dylan Hibbert says, this is my favorite lineup. I like it, too. I like it, too. Definitely with Austin Wells in there. Uh, as well, the Cabrera in the 8-hole would be really nice to get something out of the bottom part of the order. Now, speaking of the bottom part of the order, Alex Verdugo had a nice day yesterday. Two doubles. One of them was a line drive to left field, and the second one was, which I almost thought for a good while I was up there, I thought I may have tied the game via the home run. Ended up staying in the park, but Anyways, Verdugo looked good yesterday. Two doubles. Definitely would be nice uh, if he keeps hitting. WRC Plus now up to 125. But yeah, the only downside to having Volpe at the top is that the production from the bottom third has stalled a little bit. That's that's like Volpe at a Leo spot has been great, but not having him in the seven hole, that's been noticeable as well. How do you cure that? Well, Verdugo, he keeps hitting. And then, of course, Gleyber Torres, he's got to get going. As well, they'll keep doing your thing. And then again, Austin Wells. Would be nice to see uh, something out of him. Let me uh let me get my uh screen saving going. Dude, I want to make a highlight video chat. I haven't made a highlight video since the second game of the freaking Cleveland series. Well, since the last time the Yankees won, which yeah, was the second game of the Cleveland series. I want to make a freaking highlight video, yo. I want a good old I want a good old Yankees win today. Like I don't even want to stress all that much. Like give me a nice like Like I would love for the offense to just show up and kind of dominate today. Good old outing from Stroman. Maybe give us a six, possibly seven innings. And then we can kind of just kick it and uh, enjoy some Yankees baseball. One sec, yo. Getting my uh, getting my screens up here. Cool, cool, cool. All righty. Make sure my audio is on. Been a pretty busy day today, yo. In general, it's going to be a busy day. I mean, all weekdays are pretty busy. But I woke up around like 8.30, had a bunch of editing to do. Had baseball today at 12. That went great. 
finished that up in terms of like the after process about like an hour ago. Had some more editing to do. Took a quick shower, quick little pregame shower because you guys know for the most part I'm all about that. Did not go to the gym yet today, but we'll be hitting it probably around 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. So busy day and a day that would be so much better if the Yankees can bounce back with a win. Let's see. Stanton play of the year last night scoring. Yo, Brian, I watched that shit back, both the play itself and uh, my reaction to it. And honestly, I think it was probably one of the funnier ones like I've had. Not that I do these at all for reactions or nothing, but I was just curious like what my thought process was during it. And yo, I really thought he was dead as a duck. Like I put my head down and was like, oh, bro, are you freaking kidding me? Because the way he was running, I mean, the throw beat him by a freaking mile. But the catcher just dropped it and hey, we got lucky. I mean, not that it mattered anyways, we ended up losing. But yeah, Stanton did not look good running. And, you know, at the time I was saying, okay, he wasn't dogging it. That's just his max speed. He definitely was holding up a little bit. So he's still worried about uh, possibly pulling something. Maybe he did, maybe he did like, I don't know, get banged up in the last couple games or something where he's feeling a little bit in his legs. I don't know. But he definitely was being a pretty, uh, pretty conservative yesterday with that running. Let's see here. Dr. Full says, bottom part of the order was the only thing that did anything yesterday, really. Well, let's see. Um, yeah, with Trevino for sure, Waldo and, and Verdugo. Verdugo getting going, that's going to be huge, man. And you're right, he definitely had a good day uh, Good day yesterday with the two doubles. Judge, 182 average, 116 OPS plus. Yeah, Judge's stats are definitely not great. And again, I think he's going to be just fine. I have no doubt that he's going to be just fine. But we would like to see him get going sooner rather than later. Because when the offense is doing fine, it's like not a big deal at all. And that's what the, the situation was for pretty much all this season so far up until the last couple days. But now that the offense is struggling, when Judge is struggling, it stands out more. So I'm actually I'm going to put a prediction out there, chat. Let's do some homer predictions. I got Aaron Judge going deep today. I got Aaron Judge going deep today. Hopefully a significant home run, like more than just a solo shot. I mean, I'll take a complete replica of... What happened against Gossman last time against the Blue Jays, where we just came out swinging and Juan Soto walk, Aaron Judge two-run shot right away. Right away in the first inning. That would be awesome. Set the tone early. Set the tone early. I assume Gossman will probably go on with like a little bit different of an approach against the Yankees this time, considering it didn't go all that great last time out for him. But we'll uh, we'll see. Let me try to get the box score up on here. Let's see, ESPN. You got me, you got me, you got me. All right, not yet. No box score just yet. Gosman the Blue Jays taking the field though, so it is just about time to go. I got my AC on. Hey, Alexander sends in uh two bucks. Appreciate it. Heap deep double dive. Alright. I don't know exactly what you're saying with that, bro, but I appreciate the super chat. Thank you so much. Got my judge jersey on today. He's going deep. Hell yeah, Zach. Let's go. Dookie getting one. He fell he fell short off yesterday. Oh, the home run. Yeah, man. Dude, at least we had some exciting exciting baseball in the ninth for a few minutes yesterday. Because again, like the last couple days or this whole series in Toronto has been pretty much a dud so far. Like, in terms of just the baseball being played, it's been boring as shit. Let me, uh, come on, ESPN, give me a box score here. Give me a freaking box score so I can settle in. Yeah. My ask an early two-run lead. I'm right there with you, Morgan. Michael D says, Dan, Mike King's line today, seven and two-third innings pitched, one run, 10 Ks, two walks. Oh, nice. I'm rooting for King, yo. Like, I want him to do well. Most of the time, if it's a Yankee I like, even if they were, you know, the return of a certain trade, in this case, obviously Juan Soto, I want King to do well. And I don't mind the Padres. Like, same with the rest of the guys. Like, I, I know uh, like Johnny Brito and Randy Vasquez, Kyle Gashioka haven't really done much for them yet at all. But, like, I would want them to. Like, I want them to get their uh, a good end of the, bar of the bargain with that trade. And Michael King's a freaking beast. Love the guy. So, I'm glad he's doing well. All right, here we go. Volpe stepping up to the dish. Again, I'm waiting on the ESPN box score. There we go. Let's do it. You guys hear me all right, right? Like my uh, audio is obviously all good. I think so. Showing good on my end. Showing good on my end. All right, here we go. First pitch from Gosman coming up. Let me get the box score in here. If you're just joining, it's so good to see you guys here again for another watch party. We're doing these all season long, yo. All season long. Ball inside. All season long. There we go. Yo, on baseball today, we had that topic about uh, that Pirates starter last night. Pretty crazy stuff. I know that kid's young, that Jared Jones kid. He threw five scoreless innings and was at just 59 pitches yesterday against the Mets. And Derek Shelton, the Pirates manager, 
took him out. At 59 pitches, only through nine balls, 50 strikes, 59 total pitches, five scores, they took him out. And the reason I think about that is they have my, I still have my baseball today uh, graphic up here to the right, but. If I have one complaint about the modern game, as we got a 2 1, two one count on Volpe, it's the way they treat pitchers now. And yo, you can't say that. I mean, I know the thought process is to protect against injuries, but that shit ain't working. That shit ain't working. How conservative guys are, are, are being with their starters clearly is not helping prevent any injuries. Not one bit. Let's see, got my line score up on here. Don't want to get spoiled because sometimes it's like a pitch ahead. Oh, pop-up ad just pushed all my info down a little bit. 2-2 two, two on Volpe. Grab all foul. One sec, chat. But, yo, with, like, the pitcher, uh, like, the pitch counts and, like, especially with the young guys trying to keep them from, like, blowing out their arms, which, again, I feel like doesn't ever really work. Um, I always think back to, uh, remember Steven Strasburg? Dealing in his rookie year, and the Nats shut him down before the uh, playoffs. Oh, high throw. We safe. Let's go. Let's go. Bad throw by Bo. We'll be safe. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's get on the board early. Got to score run early. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Dang, Gosman hit the. Uh, why not put the layover graphic above the box score? What do you mean? The layover graphic above the box score. Oh, I would do that, but it blends in with the white. If you're talking about why I don't like, yeah, have the graphic under like a P and G open image of this layover. Um, I just take the color of the box score, blend it into the background of the, the layout, and then it just fits nicely, if that's what you're saying. And if that explanation made any sense, I don't know. Oh, Toronto's challenging already? All right. You can lose your challenge. He looks safe as a duck to me. He's safe as a duck. I don't know if that's a saying or not. Yo, Chad, I forgot to ask. What, uh, what do we got score predictions-wise today? I'm going with... Let's see. Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna overturn that. It looks like he may have got him on the back tag. I have like seven two Yankees. I think it's gonna. Like, I think we're in for a nice, comfortable victory, victory today. Knock on wood. Ooh. Yeah, they might got him. Damn it. I don't know. I feel like they may have gotten him, but I would not be shocked if they don't overturn that. Let's see. I see a 10-7. 10 nothing. Yeah, you tell you, Pemper. I like that. 7-5 Yanks, 6-4 Yanks. 6-2 Jays. Okay, Jason. I see you. You think the Yanks are getting swept? We're winning 6-3, 12-4 Yanks. Word. I'm in the mood for like a... I mean, obviously, I always am. But a... Uh, I want a nice, comfortable win today. A nice, comfortable win. We can kind of just like relax, enjoy some good Yankees baseball. I want good defense. No, no, like, brain blunder plays. Yeah, there's definitely a chance this one gets overturned. Because it looked like, from a certain angle, Volpe was tagged out on the back tag from Vlad as he was coming down. But, uh, they don't overturn everything. Especially when the call on the field is the opposite of what you see in the replay when it's close. God damn it. Fuck. Damn it. All right, one dead. That's really annoying. God, I hate the Blue Jays so much. All right, yo, one dead. One dead. Yeah. Nice play by Vlad. I'm going to throw him a, a nickel and say, nice play. I'll give you that. That's the only compliment I'm going to pay him t today in this whole series. All right, let's go, Soto. Yeah, Soto's been pretty quiet this series. I was going to say, I feel like he has only one hit. Ball low, at a boy. Come on, Blue, dude. This is ridiculous, man. Yeah. The, the umpiring has been so bad this series, man. Or this season, this season period, the umpiring has not been good. Just talking about the strike zone, like the strike zone. There's been a lot of missed calls. Ball low, at a boy. Surprised he didn't call that a strike too. Damn, when you leave your room, do you just have a blue tint everywhere? You like, hey, what up, Rob? No, I don't. But uh. When I have the red lights on, I do feel like actually it, uh, I think the red light, when I stream for like three hours with the red lights, I feel like I have better skin afterwards because it's like the equivalent of like the, the red light therapy. So if you're asking if it can have an impact, these LED lights, I do think it actually can, can do something for you. But no, my eyes are totally fine. I was thinking about, they make these blue light contacts now though, which I was thinking about getting. I had the blue light glasses. 
And obviously not for like the freaking LED lights, but like the amount of screens we're always looking at, Rob. I got one, two, three screens ahead of me right now. Make it four. Let's see here. Red light therapy is good, Rob. I do have the gym too. Art, so do one out walk. Planet Fitness has those machines where uh, you can do the red light therapy. And they say it's really good for you for a bunch of different reasons. Let's go, Soto. All right. Come on, Judge. This is where Judge starts to get hot today. Again, I'm predicting a Judge home run at some point. Hopefully right now. Remember, dude, this is literally exactly what happened the last time against Gaussman at home. Volpe got out, Soto walked, and then Aaron Judge ripped a two-run shot. Which was a gorgeous swing. Remember, it was that like, it was like a splitter low and inside. Splitter or a changeup. And, uh, fouled the way. And, um, Judge put a great swing on it, went deep. Yep. She was a nuke. Yep. 313 average against Gosman, four homers. Let's go, Judge. Big spot here. Come on. <laughs> yeah, big spot in the first, but it's true. Atta boy, good eye. Yeah, so it was a splitter. It was like that pitch that he just threw, except a little more up. It was a ball, and Judge just sent it into the uh, Blue Jays bullpen. Let's go, Cap. No, he shouldn't be worried. Only reason to worry about Judge if he has like, an injury that nobody knows about. And all the tests show he's totally fine. God damn. He's just a little bit off. Now, Judge also says that his like shortened spring training isn't affecting him. That I doubt. I mean, I'm sure that plays a big part in it. But he's also, you know, he's accountable as shit. He's not gonna like make excuses, but we can make excuses for him. I think the lack of spring training at bats definitely played a role. At a boy, good eye. Two and two. Two and two. Man, this is a big game, chat. Big freaking game. Had a peanut butter sandwich before this. Little uh, Chips Ahoy Ghost Protein Shake. Got my water jug to the left of me. Had a coffee this morning. Maybe a couple munchkins, but hey, what are you going to do? Only like four or five. Well, really like seven or eight, but that's still better than what I usually do. Oh, no. If you just pause over here. Let's go, Cat. Good, you shouldn't be. Again, if Judge is healthy, there's no reason to ever worry about Aaron Judge. But he does have to get going. Does have to get going. Oh. MLB TV just spoiled it for me. I'm pretty sure Judge strikes out right here. God damn it, right down the dick. Why are we not swinging, Cap? Come on. Come on. Those are two pretty hittable pitches. Judge is off right now. That much is obvious. A little bit off. Little bit off. All right, let's go, Riz. Now they're running fucking advertisements on MLB TV mid-game, which is ridiculous. That's pathetic. There we go. At least I let you skip it. Come on, Riz. All righty. Let's go, chat. Come on, Riz. Ripped. And a boy. Got it. Let's go. Fuck yes. All right. First and second, two outs. Let's go, Stanton. Come on. That. Nice. Nice. Rizzo has had some better swings lately. That is great. He just pulled the ball and hit that shit hard. That was well over 100 miles an hour exit velocity. Let's go. Austin, Judge is not going to get benched. Please. Come on, dude. Come back to me, bro. Let's go, Riz. Bench and Judge. Come on, man. Now, maybe they give him, like, a day off. But you don't bench Aaron Judge. It wouldn't be a benching. Let's go, Stanton. Again, Stanton going to low pants. Oh, let's go. My transfer's done. I'll do that after this inning. 1-0. 7 for 18 against Gosman with two yep. home runs. 7 for 18, Stanton. Did you hear that? Let's go. Come on. Could be right man in the right spot. Oh, man. I need a big hit here. Just a single. That's all we need. Good eye. Atta boy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 2 0 on Stanton. Didn't start the first game, was 1 for 4 yesterday, also scored a run. 2 0. 
And chat, as always, if you could, do me a favor and drop a like if you're in here. Helps out a bunch. All right, 2-0 on Stain. Come on. Jammed him. 2-1. That's the fastball back, 2-1. Man, I really hope the Yanks can replicate what they did against Gosman last week. So those not all that familiar. Like Gosman is a like a nasty pitcher. He's one of the best pitchers in the American League. Just not off to a great start so far this year. So it's not like out of the question he could return to just being great, but hopefully not. Good eye at a boy. Three one. Come on. Who do we got on deck? Uh, Glaber. Before the game began, <laughs> the first two games of this series, the Yankees hit 164. Sounds like every other hitter that comes up, I feel like I'm saying, like, this guy's got to get going. This guy's got to get going. Judge, Rizzo, Glaber, and Austin Wells. But the first three are established guys. They got to get going. Let's go, Giancarlo. Here we go. The 3 1. Ooh. It's a good cut. Good cut. All right. Come on. I feel like they definitely don't throw Santa fastball here. Although, maybe it would be smart to. I don't know. Gosman is pumping 97. Yeah. I think he's going to go breaking ball, but again, what the hell do I know, Chad? 3 2. Good eye, a boy. Good AB. Let's go. Bases juice. Glaber's got to get hot. Glaber's got to get hot, yo. Got to get hot. Got to get hot. Hey, what up, Nelson? There was no likes, Nelson, and then you dropped a like, and now there's one. Yeah, Gosman not looking great. Gosman is not looking great. Glaber, remember, Glaber has good career numbers off of Gosman. He's got to get going. Nothing crazy. Give me a little freaking single. A little freaking single. That's all I ask. I mean, bro, if we load the bases and we don't come through here, like, by no means am I getting, like, pessimistic in the first inning, but that would not be a, a great way to pick up from last night. Loading the bases and then not doing anything with it. Let's go, Glaves. Come on. Glaber looking for his first home run. He has just two ribbies and a 206 average. Oh, man, dude. A lot of hittable pitchers are just watching go right. by. Like He could have fucking lined them in the right center field. What up, Halsey? Good time for Glaber's first homer. Hell yeah. How many outs? Two. What up, Sean? Yeah, let's go, Glaves. What up, Sam? The 0 1. Damn, man. 0 2. 0-2. Oh, Notice in those first two swings, the first take and that swing, that front hip just leaving so early from Torres, not able to work the outer half of the plate. Big spot for the Yankees to put up a Come on, Glaves. Here in the first. Give me the something. God damn, man. man. He dialed that one up to 98. Shit. He found some velocity and got it right past Torres. Yo, I do kind of subscribe to the theory, like, I mean, Glaber's definitely pressing, dude. I mean, at this point, obviously, because, you know, he's this far into the season, but, like, he does get in his own head. We've seen it before. 2022, when there's trade rumors that the Yankees might deal him to the Marlins, dude was ass for a good month after that, and apparently it was in part because he was, like, upset about the trade rumors and it got him in his own head, whatever. And then this year, yo, I mean, with all the pressure of how bad this team, like, all the expectations of how bad they want to win, plus, more importantly, it's a walk year for Glaber. So, pressure probably already was on him, and then now that he's starting the season as poorly as he is, dude is definitely pressing. I mean, that was just not a good at-bat, dude. That was not a good at-bat. I mean, 98 in on the hands, that's pretty tough to hit, but like that first pitch, yo, that was pretty much a hanging slider that he just watched go by, and that causes him down 0-1, the next pitch, to swing a slider out of the zone. That stinks. That stinks. Now, as for Glaber getting benched, man, I mean... I don't know if like benched is the word, but DJ LeMahieu is coming back soon. DJ LeMahieu is doing a rehab assignment this weekend at Somerset. Says he only needs like five games to get going. I'm sure Judge is pressing a little bit too, Ben. But like, I don't worry at all when it comes to Judge because, man, if there was a moment that you were going to press, it would be 2022 when he's chasing the home run record. And even though it took him a little bit to get there, his at-bats during that were phenomenal. Judge has dealt with pressure many times before. Many times before, and he's handled it no problem. Whereas Glaber, when he has had to deal with similar situations in terms of like getting in his own head, it's totally tanked his game. Whereas Judge, not so much a case. Nelson says, walk here in the years. New best friend might sound the for life. You would think he'd want to perform. Yep. Definitely has pressure to perform now. Definitely. Which for some guys is a good thing, but in Glaber's case, man, like, whether it's pressure to perform or just, again, being in his own head, 
Whatever the reason is, it gets to him. Let's go, Stro. I do feel really good about Stroman being like the Yankees stopper in a uh, during a losing streak. But when I say that, people bring up good points. Like the pitching's not really so much the problem. True, but like a school is first year is important, very important. And a boy, zero and one. And last time, I mean, the walks weren't great against Miami, but in the end, it really was just that Jake Berger three run bomb that uh that was his downfall. Other than that, I mean, he got us through five. Command wasn't great, but again, it was just really that Jake Berger three run homer. Let's go, Stro. Bro, I can't take another day of the Yankees defense being shit. I really hope we just have a... I want smooth sailing today, man. Smooth sailing. Nothing that makes you want to, like, bang your head against the table. Judges play discipline is garbage right now. I mean, yeah, over the past, like, really since the Cleveland series, but... Like, this series, I would say his play discipline isn't good. But besides that, all season, that's been the one thing he still has had, has been play discipline. I think you're right, Sam. I don't think uh, Glaber deals well with stress at all. Judge hasn't showed up for sure. Yeah, of course, Austin. Has not showed up as of yet. And he has to. When the offense is struggling, this is the time where you got to get going. Judge has got to get going. Stroman going to go with six and two thirds. One. Oh, yeah. Give me uh, give me some Stroman uh, final line predictions today. I got him going through six at least. I'll go six innings. I'm kind of with you on that, dude. Six innings, uh, six and two thirds, one run, Zach. I'll, I'll join you with that. Six and two thirds, one run. I like that. Just can't have Stroman walking batters. That's the weakest for him. Yep. Plus, Judge still gets on base more than him. I can't remember the last time Glaber took a walk. Oh, yeah, it's not even comparable. Judging, even judging a slump, man, is still one. His presence alone is quite imposing, whereas Glaber, not so much, especially the way he's looking right now. But outside of the series, again, Judge was still taking his walks. He's still even, I don't know if he's walked the last two games. He's top three in the league in walks, Judges. So, yeah, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Let's go, Stroh, 0 2. Damn it! All good. Just a little single. All good. All good. See, Morgan's out. Six and a third. Two runs, two walks, seven Ks. I'd take that. I'd take that. Ultimately, all that matters is that the uh, offense does something. For the love of God. <laughs> all right. Who's up now, Bo? I was talking to my dad about this before. Bo is actually the one Blue Jay that is somewhat likable. I don't, I don't hate Bo. So Bo He's not obnoxious. I'll give him that. Let's go, Stro. Take a nice little double play here. Also, too, a big thing. I mean, this just goes hand in hand with doing well against Cosman, but we really got to start working pitch counts again. Bassett, we did not work at all. Kikuchi, we did not work at all. And as we know, the Blue Jays' bullpen has been, like, rebolstered with uh, the return of uh, Jordan Romano. They got uh, Garcia. He had some other dude, too. But we got to get to the middle relief portion of the Blue Jays' bullpen. So hopefully we can, whether we hit him around or not, we got to work Gosman's count to get him out, like, before the six or like early in the six, out of boy, two one. Two and one. Uh, Stroman has been a very good pitcher for a long time, and, and he does How many games has Torres cost us this year? Uh, I mean, it's hard to say, and obviously there's other factors that go into it, but. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of things that go into it, but the Cleveland game I would ultimately put on put on Glaber. Even yesterday, man, I mean, we ended up scoring four runs, came within one. If Glaber just holds onto that ball at second base and that run doesn't score, you don't know. Like maybe maybe we we keep that runner at third. And the Blue Jays only have four runs, and we're able to tie it up. Now that's, as they call it, the fallacy of the predetermined outcome, of course. But, damn it. Sure just walked Bo. But yeah, the little mistakes, like, that shit has to stop. Mainly on defense. A couple of blunders, you know, base running-wise. Really, like, try to catch an extra base, and it so far has not worked out for him really at all this season. You were talking about Glaber getting his own head. You think putting him from leadoff to six in the order is getting to him? Ah, I don't think so, man, because... I mean, the leadoff spot, I feel like, would have to be more pressure, right? So I would say no. But maybe the fact that he was dropped down in the order, like, has him more in his own head, like, really emphasizes that he's struggling. But, like, in a way, it's kind of just, like, tough shit, bro. Yeah, you're not hitting. You got to figure it out, whatever the reason is. 
And like that's not an excuse for Glaber, man. Like even going back to the, like the trade, the when oh, no. there were trade rumors in 2022, like that's kind of soft, bro. I love Glaber. You guys know I love Glaber, but like you don't even. It's not even like he got traded. I don't even think it was that close to happening. But like your name is dangled in trade rumors, as a lot of players are, and that causes you to just forget how to hit for a month. First two starts. We'll see if that pitch shows up again today. Kind of foul. Need a double play right now or something. Let's go, Yanks. Big dub coming. Hell yeah, Matt. Yeah, it kind of is. You know what, JK? And the reason I said, like, I don't know if I said, uh, like, if I prefaced it with a, um, trying to be nicer, but at first I was going to call him a fucking a P word, bro. Like, it is. It is soft. You're right. It 100% is soft. 2019 Glaber was so special, bro. I would kill to have him back in that form. 2019 Glaber was great. But, like, yo, I look at 2022, or excuse me, I mean, 2022 before the trade deadline shit, yeah, but 2023 Glaber, like, if we could just have that Glaber this year, holy crap, dude. I consider 2023 Glaber almost to be better than 2019 because, one, if you look at WRC+, Plus, he was at a 125 in both those seasons. But, of course, 2019, uh, he had, like, 30, uh, 38 homers. The overall, like, rate stats were better, but that's in big part because he had the juice ball. The juice ball in 2019 was nuts. Like, I don't think Glaber, Glaber Torres is a true talent, like, 38 homer guy. But last year, even though he hit, like, 24 homers, he had an 800 OPS, and the K rate was lowered significantly as was the walk rate increased and another thing that's annoying too on the defensive side of things like Glaber Torres is a much better defensive second baseman than he's shown 2022 you go look at his numbers he was like plus six defensive run saved in 2022 with uh at second base it's like sometimes he does dumb shit and again I'm not counting that that play where he threw to third base Waldo just got to get that tag on him like, I'm not gonna hold that against him but just other shit man it's and then does like the Glaber Torres puppy dog face Definitely frustrating. Definitely frustrating. But other guys got to get doing, going too. Judge got to get going. Rizzo's got to get going. Hopefully Wells starts to produce something in the uh, nine hole. Waldo's been good. What did Waldo have? Another two hits yesterday? Or he had a... Uh, what a double and a sack fly. What's his career defensive run saved? I'll check for you. I think it's probably... Let's see if we can turn two. Waldo over second for one. On a first. Let's go. Fuck yes. Let's go, chat. Huge. Nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so we got a... Uh, who were the last out? Uh, Glaber? Yep. So Verdugo, Cabrera, Wells. Let's go, chat. Come on. Here we go. Let me check uh, Glaber's career defensive run save. Now, at shortstop, it's definitely in the negatives. I feel like at second base, he might still be in the positives by a couple. Because, again, 2022, he was, he was significantly in the plus range. And I'll check outs above average, too, but let's check. Well, my voice just had, like, a little whistle. Let's see, chat. Let's see. Let's see. What is Glaber Torres's defensive runs saved? Okay. So for shortstop, oh yeah, bro. Shortstop. So for shortstop, he's at negative twenty-four, which obviously doesn't matter anymore, but goes to show how bad he was. Negative twenty-four defensive runs saved. Second base, though, negative six. And you know where that actually largely uh, comes from? 2019. 2019, he had negative eleven defensive runs saved, but in twenty twenty-two, like I was saying, he was at plus nine actually. Last year, minus four. This year, already minus three. So, I mean, overall, generally large sample size. Glaber Torres is a negative defender. But, again, 2022, he was really good there defensively. So, he has, obviously has the potential, has the talent. Whether it's his fucking brain or, I don't know. And I don't like when people say it's like a lazy thing. It's not a lazy thing. I mean, Glaber Torres, like they call it a lazy thing on that, uh, that ground ball uh, in the Cleveland series that led to them tying the game. And it's like, yo, that's not him being lazy. Obviously, if Glaber had the choice of the two where he could make the play or not, he would make the play, and he'd do anything possible to make the play. He just made a dumb mistake. Made an error. Not even a mistake. He just, yeah, he made an error, which, regardless, cannot happen. But, yeah, whatever the reason is, especially this year. And honestly, last year, I don't think he was, like, just going with the eye test, like, I don't think there, was a, there was a, wasn't a problem with his defense last year. But this year, obviously. All right, let me, uh, I'm getting my feedback up here. We have, um, hell yeah, 190 people in here in a three o'clock game. Yeah, maybe it is puberty, Sam. Must be a little bit late. Minus three in what, 18 games? Yep. Yep, Christopher Woodson, exactly. Yeah, minus three defensive run save in 18 games. You are correct. <laughs> Pretty freaking nuts, dude. Pretty freaking nuts. Which, now that we're down this hole, I might just check the rest of, uh, because 18 games, by now it's a somewhat decent enough sample size. I'm going to start checking everybody else's uh, defensive run saved. Like, I'm curious what Volpe was at. Is at. Now, Volpe's had some mistakes, too. I imagine he's probably still in the positives, though. And here we go. 0-1 on Verdugo. He didn't wonder. He said he got off the end of the bat, John. He said, I was just hoping that it 
Yeah, I thought that Verdugo shit had a good chance of being gone. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Volpe, 15 defensive runs saved last year. Gold glove, of course. This year, even with some mistakes, five defensive runs saved. So don't be getting on Volpe's defense because even though, you know, every now and then he'll make a, a blunder, usually with the throwing arm. But uh, he saves so many more runs than he gives up that foul ball. Um, that his defense, even with some of the errors, is fantastic. I thought Verdugo struck out on that for a second, but he fouled it off. All right. Let's go, Verdugs. Come on. Really nice to see Verdugo obviously hitting in general, but the two doubles yesterday, that's dope because that's like his game. He's a doubles machine. I think last year he had like 40-something, right? Let me check. Need this win. Need this win. 37 doubles last. 37 doubles in 2023, 39 in 2022, 32 in 2021. So, yep. Doubles machine. The one-two. Grab it right side. God damn it. Guerrero flips to Gosman. Flat looks half decent at first base this year. I'll give him that. And I don't want to hear that he's a gold glove winner. Gold gloves. They don't really mean shit. They don't really mean much at all. And before you say anything, Anthony Volpe was a great defender at shortstop last year because he was a great defender at shortstop, not because he won a gold glove. I mean, Aaron... Aaron Judge, the fact that he never won a gold glove in right field, that further proves that point, I would say. But no, Vlad looks, he actually looks half decent at first base this year. Looks half decent. Bro, Glaber's batting run value is minus four already. Hey, that adds up. That adds up. I'm going to put my AC on a little bit more. I'm getting hot. Bro looks like he has fun playing baseball. I don't care. Let's go, Waldo. Yes, yeah, so what did he do all yesterday, Waldo? Do I have game logs on here? I know he had a, he had a double and a sack fly. Why do I feel like he had two hits? Did he have two hits? Oh, no, just the one. Yeah, the double and the sack fly yesterday. One for three, yep. Cool. He keeps hitting. Yep, 294 average, 529 slugging, 150 WRC+. plus. Let's go, Waldo. 0-2, oh, come on. That a boy, good eye. Let's One, go. Two. Work counts. Come on. on Need to work counts. Two for six in this I didn't love the judge quote yesterday in the post game where he was saying, uh, like, the main way to get out of his slump is just to be aggressive. Hits, like, I don't want to get too caught up in being aggressive. Two. I want to stick to the, the mindset of working counts, smart at bats. And with that said, judge was not aggressive at all in his first at bat. He took two very hittable pitches. Good shit, Waldo. It's really noticeable with Cabrera this but, uh, year. Hell yeah, over 200 people in here already? Let's go. Bro, I hit when the repeat replays. Oh, the replay replays four to five times. Move on. I'm with you, dude. Who said that, Jason? I'm with you, dude. Especially when it's like a play like not even really worth replaying. Nice. Atta boy. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two two. So, Gosling must have thrown a decent amount of pitches in the first. What's he at now? Cool. So, he's at 37. So, at the very least, we'll you assume get him into the 40s, which not a bad start pitch count-wise. Like for us. Working the counts. That was a really good stand at bat in the first. It's a shame uh, Glaber didn't come through. And then the Rizzo single, too. I mean, that was... Ah, that's a rough swing. That's a weird swing. Okay. Two dead. Two dead. The MLB Ballpark app will complete your next visit to your favorite ballpark. Buy and manage game tickets, redeem offers, access exclusive content, much more. Download the MLB Ballpark. By the way, today. tomorrow with the off day, 7 o'clock, seeing Spider-Man in theaters. Spider-Man 2002, one of the greatest comic movies ever made. They're doing like a little, uh, like they put it back in theaters for one day, and then it did so well that they put it in, uh, it's going to be in for four days. Tomorrow's the last day. Seeing it at 7 o'clock, can't wait. Let's go, Wells. Good eye. Also, Wells really's got a thick-ass mustache. I was seeing that the other day when I was playing MLB The Show. That is a thick-ass mustache. Yeah. Wells needs a homer. Needs a homer. Same with Glaber. The cure to all slumps. A nice fucking piss missile. Which, again, Wells did hit the ball well twice in game one. Good eye. boy. 
I'll take a uh, two out walk to Wells. The nine hole. I might go see a movie tomorrow too. Not a bad idea. Yeah, it is the off day tomorrow, Morgan. And I've been trying, dude. For those who've been on these streams, there's so many movies I've been wanting to see. Like, uh, hey, word. That looked like a strike, but we'll take it. Ball four, four pitch walk. Uh, Godzilla vs Kong. I still got to see. Um, what was the other movie I wanted to see? I've been talking about on here. Godzilla. Seeing Spider Man tomorrow. Oh, Civil War. Civil War too. I'm gonna crank my AC up a little bit. Something going. All right, come on. Let's go, Volt. Good to be by Wells. Played appearance. Ooh, Volt. What are we swinging at lately, bro? Come on. Let's go. Dude, what are we swinging at, Volt, man? Fucking love you, but god damn, what the hell's gone into you? Yeah. And then you plan on doing any kind of recaps on off days? Zach, I do actually. I think it's, uh, I'm going to start doing that. Might even come on tomorrow. We'll see. I'm still a little bit, like, behind after going to L.A. last week, so I still have, like, a little bit left to uh, catch up on work-wise. Good eye. So I may not tomorrow, but that is going to be the plan going forward. Like, streams outside of just watch parties. Head first slides yeah. pop up? No, 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 no. It, it was basically just falling down. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Volt. One, two. Get eye out of boy. Only that sucks about the... Uh, Going to see Spider Man. They're not showing it by the theater right next to me. That's like 10 or 15 minutes away. 20 minutes, maybe. I gotta go like a good 45 minutes away. But it should work out because I gotta go to the warehouse tomorrow, the Jamba warehouse, to film out some Blitzball stuff. And this theater I'm going to is a little more up north, so I should be able to just hit it on the way back. And it should work out time wise. So I'll probably leave the warehouse at like 5, 5 30. God damn it. Not great. Not great. Except. Galson's pitch count is now at 47. So that's good. That's the that's a good thing so far out of this. And what we have, we had the, the Rizzo hit and the Stanton walk. That's pretty much it, right? And the Soto walk. And the Wells walk. So okay, three walks so far. That is good. We're working the count a little bit. Pitch count for Gaussman at 47. That's the only W offensively so far. And Rizzo squaring up that ball, pulling us a nice hard single. That was cool too. But we got to score freaking runs. Got to score runs. <laughs> Miss the Yanks Ave Show, not big on Talking Yanks. I mean, I think Talking Yanks is good as hell. I love Talking Yanks. The Yanks Ave Show, I miss having a, uh, I miss having a, um, like a podcast, which I might kind of bring something like that back, honestly. Like, talking about the, uh, like going live outside of just the watch parties. I might do something like that, where I just come on for an hour and just talk about everything. Um, yep, Wells did have a stolen base, too. Uh, but yeah. Something might be in the works with that, Brian. We'll see. Not the Yanks Ave Show in particular, but some sort of podcast. We'll see. Hey, Dan, are you concerned about Judge? Concerned, no, but, like, starting to get a little bit frustrated that he hasn't started hitting yet? Yes, just because the offense has gone cold. So, definitely uh, puts his struggles more to the forefront. Also got a lot of big G slugging over 500. And now, 100% Bronx Bombers. I was just talking about, like, W's with, the like, this game in itself, which stands at bat. That was a W. That was a great at bat by Stan. 100%. 100%. Let's see. Vote be overextending because everyone else can't do their job right now. Not a bad theory, Chris. He's trying too hard because everyone else ain't doing shit. Yeah, maybe. But still, I would much rather him just, you know, be still be place, uh, patient at the plate and keep the same approach he's had, but not a bad idea. Yes, to a podcast. It was dope listening to you on Apple Podcast while driving. Please bring it back. Yeah, if I did do something like that, it would definitely be, uh, it would be like on Apple Podcasts and stuff, for sure. Probably like a little hour type thing. You know? <laughs> my buddy Nelson says planning on doing any streams with guest stars in the future ask for a friend he's a big fan of yours yes Nelson I'm gonna do a a Dan and Co podcast I just haven't announced it yet I'll get you on one day Nelson don't worry Judge too busy trying to smash the ball and not actually hitting the ball I mean Judge is off right now I, I, with Judge you don't have to read anything into it unless you have some theory that he's hurt which what's this hold on yes on August 23rd of 2023, while at AAA, 
Wells had a stolen base streak come oh. to an end. Yeah. But prior to that, Wells was 55 for 55 in stolen bases. Yeah, Dave Wells stole a lot of bases in the minor leagues, never got caught until like 55 attempts later. But uh, Judge is going to be Judge. The only thing that would ever have me concerned about him is if he, if he is dealing with some injury. All the tests show he's not. Judge swear that he's not. Swears that he's not. Nice. Right back to Stroman. at a boy. So like, Judge is going to be fine. He's just off right now. Like, it's, it doesn't take a genius to say it, but... Yo, I'm a little late. What's going on? Yo, what up, Cam? Um, so we had bases loaded in the first. Couple good at-bats. Stan had a walk. Soto had a walk. Rizzo ripped a single. Very good sign. But uh, Glaber Torres struck out on three pitches. Not ideal. Uh... First and second against Stroman in the first. Double play. Justin Turner ground into a double play. And then uh, in the top of the second, Austin Wells walked. Stole the base. And that was it. Maybe give the dude a day off. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if they do that at some point, Austin. But they do have the day off tomorrow. And... I mean, I feel like it depends really how this game goes. Who do they have coming up next? They got the Rays coming up next. So it's not like they're going to give Judge a day off on Friday, you know? And he's been getting DH days. He's been getting DH days. That a boy, good pitch. That's a nice pitch, that slider. Well, it is, and you know, one of the best base running coaches I had ever had was Davey Lopes. Damn it. Base hit to right field by Schneider. One out single, all good. Uh, Savvy been looking pretty good with the Mets. He has. He has. And yo, we were talking about the other day with Rodone how his ear rate jumped a run because of a later uh, scoring change on a single for Jazz. Went from an E3 to a single. Savvy also got helped by that. Not that play in particular, but something similar where what was initially ruled a single that tacked on an extra like, run or two in Savvy's first start as a Met, they changed that later on to an error and it brought his ear rate down. Like, I think I think the time, honestly, maybe been like six or so runs. It was his first start. And he had like, I think he got tagged for five runs initially, but then it went down to three. But uh, yeah, Se Sevy's doing good so far. He's pitching right now, right? Or today? Sevy's pitching? I will say though, yo, Sevy looks like a totally different dude with the Mets right now. He definitely looks like an elder version of Luis Severino. A little bit thicker. Obviously has the beard going. Let's see. What's today? Wednesday? Yeah. Wait. Oh. Mets are already done. Right? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Se Sevy, six innings, five hits, no earned runs, three walks, four Ks. Hell yeah. Good shit, Sevy. Mets already beat the Pirates. I my brain's just a little bit off because this is like an afternoon game, but it's the afternoon slate technically started like over two hours ago. Luckily, we play the Athletics soon. Yep, Skyler. And it's a four game set, too. Four game set. Can't afford to give Judge an off day until the Oakland series. I agree, Cam. That's probably when they do it. They probably do it then. They'll probably stack up a, a DH day and a straight up off day. Oh, no. Fuck, man. Damn. Uh, shit. 2 nothing Blue Jays, bro. Crap. All good. All good. Not ideal, but all good. Just got to score. Just got to score. Got to score. What pitch did he home run? I think it was, was that like a slider or some shit. We'll see a replay. Dalton Varsho too, bro. Dalton Varsho can't hit for shit. I think it was a slider, right? What do you mean, Chris? You told us we were going to lose. What, what kind of tick is that? You told us we were going to lose. Why are you watching then, bro? You told us we were going to lose. That's not like exactly a hot take. There's a 50-50 chance whichever way you, want. you can win, you can lose. That's just kind of negative, bro. And there's still a chance we win. It's only the second inning. That's like not a hot take. Like I told you it was gonna, we were going to lose. That's when people say, like, I told you this team was going to win the World Series. Well, there's a technically a 8% chance that they do. Yeah, it's the second inning. Let's just relax. No, the team is not. Chris, not turning back the clock to 2023. They're just losing. They're just losing. Yeah, relax, dude. Relax. But no, that sucks. That sucks. Down 2 nothing. And then a walk. Come on, Stro. What are we doing, bro? Fucking walking. 100 Kirk. Four straight losses is tough. If they do have four straight losses, yeah. Right now it's only three, but... Oh, man. Was it a no... It wasn't a no-hitter, was it, uh, Yankees Empire? Just a two-run shot, John. Just a two-run shot. Saying I can hit like three to five home runs and everything will be all right. 
Yeah. Hopefully, uh, next thing we can just bounce back like right away. We'll have a. Uh, it'll be Soto, Judge, Rizzo. Come on. Got to keep it here. Got to keep it here, Stro. You got Kiermaier, and then Top. Come on, Stro. You gotta hit Gosman, bro. You gotta hit Gosman. He's not in love with you. What makes you think I want someone to be in love with you? There's MLB TV running ads mid game again. Like, what are we doing? There we go. This though, that is down off the plate. Wells, yeah, thanks, Blue. Up. Thanks, Blue. Come on, Stro. I make a hand, huh? Ba -da -da -da. I can make your hands, huh? Ba -na -na -na. Bro, I was seeing it again on, on Twitter. People tweeting out, they're like, the Yankees' vibes are different. Bro, give me a break. It's because they're losing. They're on a three-game losing streak. They're down 2 nothing. I would pray to freaking God their vibes are different. If their vibes were still the same way they were when they were sweeping Houston, that would be weird. Remember, what will lead this team to winning compared to what 2023 was is the players on the field, the performance on the field. Nothing to do with their vibes, their energy, how fun they are. That shit's all great, but what are we doing, bro? Okay, what actually was that? I need to see a replay on that. Jesus second. fucking Christ, bro. See, like that. Like, is that vibes? Is that vibes? No, that's called poor play. That's poor play. Oh, my God. He may not have got him anyways, but that's just... Oh. That's vibes, right? <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Honestly, I don't know if Rizzo's getting him anyways, but, like, still. Like, can we at least just feel the fucking ball? Jesus Christ. All right, first and second, one out. Owen one on Springer. That just kind of cracked me up, like, during the Houston series in a way. Like, even at the time, where it's like, oh, this Yankees team is so fun. Like, the energy is so much different. It's like, well, yeah, they just swept Houston. What you're excited about is that this team is much better. They had a... Their performance on the field, at least at that point, way better. That's what you get excited about, and that's what translates to, like, good, fun energy. What do do with the vibes? 2023 sucked. Not because the vibes were bad, but the vibes were bad because the team was not good, and they were losing. Winning, good vibes. Losing, bad vibes. Right now, they're losing. And the pitch. One and two. Double play, please, for the love of fucking God. Come on, Stroh, bear down, let's go, come on. It's a long season. It's a long freaking season. <sighs> mm. It's missing. Now, like, this wouldn't be that big a deal if the offense was just not looking like shit. Ground ball left side. Third base. We'll get one. Taking the out at first. Runners move up two down. All right. I feel good about Waldo at third. Like, I continue to... Like, uh, he, he makes the routine plays, which is nice. And it looks pretty easy for him. And here's Vlad. Oh, my boy, my boy. God damn. So Stroman at 42 pitches. Carrera, Huge spot. Huge spot shots. Two hits, two walks last night. It's out of the way. Oh, it's 
Florida. Nobody got uh yeah, Soto Judge Rizzo do up. Yankees have had trouble with him this series. He's reached in seven of ten plate appearances. He was ice cold on the season opening. Ooh, can't get swept, man. Can't get swept. Yankees held them down in that series in in the Bronx as well. Nice pitch at a boy. Oh two, it's come on. Don't you get out of town before he eats up, and that has been the case. Yeah, it's really been plate discipline for him. Well, he gets on, in Stro. swing mode as Bichette waiting on deck. He gets in swing mode. You don't have to throw a ball over the plate. Here with an 0-2 count, Marcus Stroman has a few chances. Can't lose this game, man. Can't lose this game. Go outside of the strike zone, fine. But if we fall quickly from like 12 and three to 12 and seven, that would freaking suck. 0-2. Just <laughs> missed. I just need to see a little bit of life offensively, yo. Just a little bit of freaking life. So you guys are saying we got over 200 people in here. Got to trade some of the prospects, bro. Cash and he's Oswald Pro. Dude, Peraza's like not even a prospect anymore, though, man. He's got like no value, Peraza. Ground ball left side. Back into my. Let's go. Nice. That's a great play, dude. Great play all around. Nice stop by Waldo. Intentionally throws a nice bounce pack to, uh, pass to Rizzo. Rizzo gets it. Nice. Cool. All right, sweet. Two runs should be no problem. Two runs should be no freaking problem, chat, for this offense. This is a good offense, a good offense that's just slumping right now. We got to get going. Got to get going. That was a great play. Great play. Oh, you're right, Yankees fighters. I forgot the spam. Been a busy day. I am going to have some spam, I think, later tonight, though, or at some point before before uh, Friday against the Rays. Yeah. Energy's always high after wins. That's just how sports work. Motherfuckers blame it all on vibes. I know. No, it literally cracks me up. And I get it like, it's a very like cliche thing to go to. Like, oh, the vibes aren't there. It's very similar to like when, when, I mean, you can say this in our case right now too, but anytime an offense isn't doing well, when like an offense is slumping, right? They'll be like, they look lifeless out there. Like they look flat. They look like they have no energy to them. It's like, yeah, because they're slumping. They're not hitting for shit. Of course they're going to look that way. It all has to do with performance on the field. That's all in the end that matters. How good your players are and how good your players are doing. All the other shit is cute, and it does transit. Like, again, when, when you win and you're doing well, like, vibes will be high. Like, that is real. Like, vibes are a are, are true thing. Like, but they don't actually mean anything, is what I'm saying. What does mean stuff, what does actually have substance to it is how the players are performing. And right now, the Yankees players are not performing well. That's all that freaking matters. And they got to turn it around this freaking inning. This inning. Soto, Judge... Rizzo, and if anybody gets on, Stanton. Let's hit a two-run bomb. A two-run freaking bomb is all I ask for. Have we have we went deep this series? No, we haven't hit a homer this series. I think the last homer hit was a judge against Cleveland. And then we got the Rays for three at home. I can't wait to get back home, bro. I cannot wait to get back home. I hate the Rogers Center. But that's no excuse to get swept. No excuse to get swept. Verdugo get a hit yet this year? Yo, Verdugo had a good game yesterday, uh, Elias. Verdugo had uh, uh, two doubles. It's a good offense. You guys are blind. It is a good offense, 100%. It's an offense that's struggling, but... Trevino bomb. Oh, yes. Good call to Skylar. Yep. The Trevino homer. This offense is garbage. No, it's 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 not... Yes, it is, Chris. It's 100% a good offense. They're struggling right now. It's absolutely a good offense, dude. Come on. Let's not, like, have recency bias. Chris, if I were to ask you... Even this year, like during the season, uh, right uh, four games into the Houston series, or a week or two into the season, if this offense was good, you would have said yes. Like we cannot just get recency bias because they're struggling lately. Like, this is how the season works. 162 games, bro. Like, get ready for it. Like this is there's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. Right now we're in a down, which will make the up feel so much better. This is a good offense. It's like Soto has one hit this series. Is he bad? No, he's just in a little. Not even, I don't want to call him a slump, but he hasn't done anything this series. The offense hasn't done anything this series. It's two games. Hopefully not going to go on to three. Let's not forget that, that the loss on Sunday, which sucked, they scored seven runs. Seven runs, and they looked great. They looked great for the most part all year long. It's just when they lose, it does seem to be because the offense doesn't do shit. You had the two shutouts. Was it two? Yeah, you had the uh, Blue Jays at home, D-backs at home. And a boy, let's go. Lead off single for Soto. Fuck yes. Nice. And then uh, these two games against Toronto. It rarely feels like we lose because of our pitching. But when we win, the, the offense typically does their job, which has been pretty freaking often this, this season, except the last two games. It's a long season. Long season. 
And I'm not saying I don't overreact. Like, I'm like, I'm bitter as shit right now. I'm obviously like quite like cranky because of the way this team is looking. But that's out of frustration, not out of like worry. I'm not worried about this team. I'm frustrated with this team. Atta boy. Let's go, Cap. Come on. So, uh, Gaussman at 50, uh, 51 pitches now. Let's go, Cap. Judge's got to get going. Judge's got to get going. And he will. I just need it soon. It's a foregone conclusion. It is inevitable. Aaron Judge is inevitable. His production is inevitable. It's a guarantee. You just It, it, it needs to start happening now. Let's uh, expedite this process a little bit and get him hot right now, today, April 17th. Here we go. Good eye, boy. Gossman does not look good. Gossman does not look good, which is good. Let's see. Chris, you got to chill, bro. You got to chill. Like, stop fucking being all negative and shit. Just relax. It's a long season, bro. It's April 17th. Way too early to be giving up on this team in this offense. An offense that has led us to 12 wins. Plus, like you just said, nobody's hitting really besides what? Volby's been good, Soto's been good, and Stan's been good. And if you also didn't think Aaron Judge just forgot how to hit, you're crazy. And honestly, same with Clever Torres, too. Just, everybody chill. Yeah, relax, Chris, for real. Gosman's forcing him down to 93. Yeah, he's not good. He was pumping 97. Oh, good fucking lord. That's going to be a double play, bro. That's going to be a double play. So fucking frustrating, man. So frustrating. God damn, man. Got to get going. Got to get going. That fucking sucks. Oh, man. You got Strowman starting for your fantasy. <laughs> fantasy, bro. Damn, man. Fuck. Bro, double play is going to be the freaking death of me, man. No, judging it fleece the Yankees, Paul. Not fleece the Yankees. He's just cold as shit right now. Cold as shit. That's unfortunate. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Now, Gawson's pitch count, like, that helps him out there, too. Like, <sighs> man. Max, you don't want Aaron Judge as the lineup. No, absolutely, John. Absolutely. It's not a good series, but it's so frustrating. One and one on Rizzo. Rizzo single. I know, Chris, you just have like some weird energy about you right now, bro, where you don't even sound like a Yankee fan. Just got to have a little bit of faith and not just like, as comfort, just assume that the season is over and that this loss is a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. It's the second inning or the third inning. We're down by two. Right, Chris, exactly. I hope you're telling yourself that. Chill, it's only game 18. Exactly, tell yourself that. Are you thinking, like, you're, you're making a point right now by telling us it's only game, game 18, using that against us? Yes, exactly. It's only game 18, and it's only the third inning. It's only the third freaking inning, dude. You know way too much about baseball for me to question whether or not you've seen a baseball season before. I know you've watched a full baseball season before. You know how this works, I assume. Absolutely disgraceful. Again, doesn't mean... I'm salty as shit, bro. I, no, by hell. Do not get it twisted. When I say, like, don't panic over this team or don't worry about this team, I mean it. But I'm frustrated as shit, bro. Like, I am bugging out. Please, do it. Yeah, absolutely awesome. 100%. 100% am I fucking... And I'm not bucking on you guys at all. And, like, Chris is my guy. I'm just saying he's being a little bit uh, a little bit too negative right now, which is a little bit whack. My saltiness is only towards the team. Yeah, exactly. We're all salty. Let me know this series has been effing terrible. 100%. No, Chris, I know you're not saying it, but like you're acting like it, dude. You're acting like you're saying, like, I told you so, that this team sucks kind of shit. Let's relax. I take Yankees baseball way too seriously. No, you don't, Austin. This is I'm with you, dude. This is life or death, and I'm all about it being life or death. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know, Fayo. I mean, I'm saying, like... No, but Chris, when you, you're telling my chat, typical judge. I don't think that excuses you anyways. Like, what do you mean, typical judge? Like, yes, he's struggling so far, and it's very frustrating. He's got to get going. But all of a sudden, you're acting like judge isn't good three weeks in, or that this team all of a sudden sucks. When I know, Chris, you were in here for the first two weeks of the season. You were hype as shit, bro. You had a lot of faith in this, in, in this team. No, I'm not going to ban him. I'm not going to ban him because Chris is a good dude, and he knows baseball. But, like, I don't like the whole trying to comfort yourself by just banking on negativity. And like assuming shit is just not going to work out in order for, for it to be a way to cope. Me too, Chris. I hate when this team is not hitting too. It's making me fucking bug out. 100%. I know like you're salty. I'm salty. Like, yeah. 
Austin, don't spam, please. Right. The vault, you put it perfectly. Exactly. There's a difference between being frustrated in the moment, like we all are, me included, and saying shit like the season is over and Judge Fleece is during eight, game 18 and 162. Couldn't have put it better. The vault, I might pin your message. I'm going to pin your message for the next five minutes. Exactly. Egg freaking exactly. If it's good play and bad results, it's whatever. The issue is bad play and bad results. I mean, either way, it's frustrating, but I mean, yeah, Fayo. I mean, yeah. No, Dan, they're saying, they're saying typical judge. I mean, no, a lot of people are saying, and it's not even about judge. I don't think it's about judge. I just don't want the whole vibe of like acting like this team sucks all of a sudden after a bad two games. Nobody was saying that a week ago. Nobody was saying that four days ago. Ugh, god damn. And again, my frustration is about the Yankees. I don't want to be like taking that on you, Chris, or like anybody in the chat. You guys are freaking dope. But like, we've all watched baseball before. Let's no, act like the, it. Uh, theories about the Blue Jays is that window is closing. Ugh. Because Bichette's a free agent after next year. Guerrero is a free agent. After I'll tell you, I need a freaking hamburger. I need a hamburger and two freaking runs. And a Coke. Oh, god damn. <sighs> Strowman, a school listening, please. Uh, damn. Like, I'm more frustrated than anybody, bro. I'm more frustrated than anybody. I'm not giving up in game 18 and 162. I have my concerns. The real concerns, I've stated a million times. The defense has not looked good. Rizzo has not looked good, although did have that nice hard single beforehand. Glaber looks like he's completely in his own head, which anytime he's in his own head, he just turns into a complete pumpkin of a baseball player. Judge, not worried about, but has been struggling so far. When the offense is this bad, that's a serious issue. He's got to get going. <sighs> What up, Jared? No, no, I wasn't saying the team sucks. I'm saying it sucks. They're not seeing pitches well. It makes them hard to hit. Yes, we are. Right, if we're, we can be in agreement on that, dude. Like, this series has been shitty. I think we've all kind of been saying that. This has been a shitty ass series. But I'd like to think, and I'm pretty confident, that this is the floor of what this team is. It's got to bounce back. Got to bounce back right now in this game and then day off tomorrow. Big series against the Rays back at home. They open with a 10 game road trip. The reason they had such an extended three city road trip at the start was Roger Center has been undergoing renovations. They wanted to make sure that it was done. So Damn, Stroman's missing outside, bro. Like almost all his pitches. They didn't fare that well. They were, were four and six, and now on this homestand. So let's not give up any free passes here. Come on. Let's like 3 1, pound a sinker in on turn, try to get him ground out. Nice. Staying in play. Wells. And a boy. Two dead. Huge. Huge. Gosman looks solid today after a tough start to the year. I don't know. I don't think he looks that great. I think he's missed a lot, and his, his velo was down in that inning but hey he got out of it so this is the first time we've got these guys together and people act like they've been be a weld oil machine by now i look at the series individually it's too early to make a decision about the squad i don't even know like i hear you bro i don't even think it's about like anything to do with meshing together because i mean they're a great team they obviously like, love each other and shit i don't think it's anything to do with that just they have not played well this series that shit is very simple for me to see it's just Nothing deeper than that. Nothing to do with vibes. Nothing to do with energy. They are just flat out not playing. Well. That is what the problem is. But yeah, no, I hear you, dude. I hear, I hear, I hear the logic and the thought. But yeah, I blame Canada for a slump. Trying to stay positive. Hell yeah, of course, stay positive, Michael. Good shit, Stro. And I hate Canada. I can't wait to get out of Canada. I can't wait for things to get back home. I hate this stadium. I hate every almost every player on the team. Mm. Five, six, seven. Let's F and go. Hell yeah, dude. Stanton Torres Verdugo. I need a homer. Even the runs they scored yesterday, bro, I feel like it's been nothing like that exciting. The ninth thing was kind of exciting yesterday. Oh, I hate Vladdy Matthew. I hate Vladdy. Uh huh. I'm Canadian. Don't put us that on us. F the Jays. Hey, okay. Fair enough, Alex. Respect to you, dude. Respect to you. And respect to standard Canadians. 
But the Blue Jays, man. Again, I don't mind Bo. Bo is actually kind of a, a likable dude. The rest of them, though. It's normal to feel frustrated. Just remember that even the best hitter is about 300 that they fail 7 out of 10 times. There's going to be lows, man, 100%. There's going to be highs. And the highs are extremely high. The lows are extremely low. I cannot stand Vlad Jr. It hasn't been great for us yet. Vlad Jr., I mean, even just like his performance aside, when he does do well, which really isn't all the time these days, he's just an annoying guy. Chris says, just my frustration is carried over from the Guardians series. For me, dude, it just stems honestly from the beginning of this series. The Guardians one, I mean, I, I was pissed as shit with how it ended, but it's not like I thought like the team, at least offensively, looked bad. The defense, that's been something we've been freaking out for a little bit now. But this season, like, it, it's way more concern if they, not a concern, but it's more frustrating when they don't hit because they're supposed to hit. The infield defense, like, I mean, is it a shocker when Glaber makes a blunder? Not really. Rizzo, I mean, yeah, that's kind of been surprising, but at this point, not so much. The lows make the highs way better. Absolutely, Yankee Finest. That's the deal with everything. That is the deal with everything. Whether it's baseball, life, can't have the highs without the lows. Can't have the lows without the highs. Oh, man. Got to score here, yo. Got to score. Do I ever bet on Emily? Nah. I, uh, I've been on football sometimes, but I never do well. I'm like, I think I may have five wins in the NFL season, but I, I'm like Ipe, bro. I keep losing, but I keep betting. What if I just want to be high all the time, though? Hey, Vincent, you and me both, bro. You got to have a little discipline, though. Where's our boy Will, too? You don't think he clapped? Will? Oh, yeah. Where is Will? Yeah, Will went on a date last night. We got to find out what's good with that. We like the win since the O's are right next to us now. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. I mean, we got to win regardless, but yeah. Absolutely. And at the very least, bro, if we're going to go on a little bit of a, uh, a slump here, like an official slump, definitely got to get right by that big series at the end of the month, which helps that we have the Oakland A's four-game set at Yankee Stadium before that Orioles series. And I think we have a quick, like, three-gamer against Milwaukee. In Milwaukee. I think it goes four games against the A's, three against the Brewers in Milwaukee, and then we go to the, the four games against Baltimore. Oh, yeah. Dude, it really does come down to that for Judge. Like, he just didn't have a spring training. And it makes sense. Judge doesn't make any excuses. He's going to say, that's not why I'm struggling. I'm struggling because I'm struggling, whatever, missing my pitch. But that's, that plays a big part of it. Dude played, what, like 10 spring training games? Come on, Stan, let's go. 3-2, big pitch. Let's go. Be smart. Foul the back. Key to get yourself going. It just hasn't happened yet. <sighs> Come on. Give me something here. Give me a walk. Give me a homer. Whatever you got. No! Oh, God damn it. Got him on the splitter. One <sighs> Talked about the velocity with the fastball, and it's better, but you also get better finish on your secondary pitches when you're developing That's nasty. strength back in that shoulder. That's nasty. Gosman's over 60 pitches in its top four. Yeah, I mean, that's honestly not that great, though. I mean, it's not like bad for us, but that double play from Judge, that really killed shit. Because that first thing he threw like 25. Come on, Glebes. You got it, buddy. One and one. I did not make any spam, John. You know, I didn't go to the uh, store, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to the store and get some spam. Despite the strikeout, Stan's offense has been pretty good so far. Oh, yeah, Stan's been real good. I mean, really just in, like, the slugging department, but that's cool. That's, like, what we want. I'm not mad about Judge. It's just frustrating. We need him in a spot as he... As he... Wait, what? What do you judge being late? What do you who's being lazy, Chris? Sorry, it's it's somewhat covered by the heart emoji. One sec. I'm not mad about judge. It's just frustrating when we need him in a spot as he gets so strikeout looking or a lazy fly ball. Oh, I see, I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's frustrating. It seems like since they moved Volpe up, the team hasn't hit. Not even Volpe's issue, just doing great that our future as a team is all. Honestly, Austin, dude, like I thought about that a little bit last night. 
that I wonder if that would affect like the mojo at all. Because you're right, Volpe has been fine outside of yesterday. He's been fucking great at the leadoff spot. But uh, I don't know. Like for the team itself, like I don't know if what they had before lineup wise was. I mean, clearly it was working better numbers wise, production and on paper. I wonder if there was a reason for that though. That the switch maybe did play a part in why they've gone cold. But it's weird. I don't know. I do not know. The 2 2. It's like maybe that's part of it to, to factor in too. Like, I, I was not really worried by the time they did the switch about Volpe's ability to produce at a leadoff spot. And that's held true. Volpe's been good. But I didn't factor in that part of it. Which I don't know if I should, if that actually is. Like, who knows if that's actually playing a, a part or not. But it's something to think about. Switching Glaber and Volpe around, did that like affect the mojo of the lineup? The reason is the one through six was not hitting and they still aren't. Volpe had the people hitting around him when he was lower. That's what I was kind of saying earlier, Nerf. Like the main disadvantage I can think about about not about having Volpe in the leadoff spot is that you don't have him batting seventh now. Or sixth, wherever he was hitting. Depends on the day. Another thing, too, is like they don't really have that one guy right now that's tearing the cover off the ball, either. Like, early in the year, there was, it seemed like whether it was Volpe or Soto in the first series, Stan, uh, the tail end of the homestand, they had kind of one guy that was going off. This series, they have not had, like, one guy going, doing really much at all. Like, not even one dude is doing all that great. Even Volpe. Keith had a good tweet. The big boys have not been hitting bombs, but more getting on base, whereas Glaber's had bad hitting, but pitch, good pitch working at bats. So Volpe, who was the best hitter, was knocking Judge, Soto, etc. And yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Definitely, dude, especially the first line about not hitting home runs. I mean, Stan had a good little stretch, but so far on the road trip hasn't gone deep. Judge had the one homer in Cleveland. And then so, but yeah, a big part of it, dude, like, I don't want to keep picking on him, but like Rizzo's got to start hitting something with a, in the power department, man. Got to. Because you're right, the middle of the order, it's been a lot of just like getting on base with like Soto, Judge, and Rizzo. They've still been getting on base, but not so much power. Now he isn't in your counting on Glaber doing so, or what he was doing isn't helpful in the spot he's in, but was helpful in the leadoff spot. I think that's that totally makes sense, Fayo. That totally makes sense. Totally makes sense. But they wouldn't go back, I don't think, right? And it'd be such a weird message to send, because it's like you don't want to like make it seem like you're demoting Volpe because he's been good at the leadoff spot. But... Again, I didn't really factor in as much before. If that is what's leading to this issue, that like, yeah. What they had before, even though on the service level of Glaber not doing well, wasn't working, it was technically working. So, yeah. The game is not over, oh god, Rocks. It's, they're down by two. Glaber does not suck. He was the best Yankee last year. You're 100% right, Jason. He doesn't suck, and that's why this is so frustrating, him playing this poorly. We can't score LL. Yeah, until we can. The Yankees do not admit to mistakes when the lineup is concerned. I doubt they go back. Yep. I agree, JK. I think Volpe can take being demoted and not let it wreck his head. I 100% agree. I just don't feel like they do that, though. I just, I don't feel like they, yeah. I don't see the Yankees, like, because that technically would be a demotion. Not, not that it wouldn't make sense to put him down in the six hole, even though he's been doing so good. But like we were just saying, she was working with Glaber and Lito spot. What's going on this team? It seems like they lost their mojo. I mean, they're just not, they're not doing well. They're just not hitting. And whenever you're not hitting, it seems like you lost your mojo. But yeah. Three up, three down here. Let's get the bats going. Hell yeah, Jared. Hell yeah. Who just got made the last out? It was, uh, it was a Verdugo. So we'll have Waldo Wells top. Yeah. Yep. It's Soto, Judge, Stanton, Rizzo, and Volpe. They're going to hit. I mean, we can go like through the lineup. Like, Who do you have faith in offensively? Long term to hit. Like Volpe, he's been good. He's he will be good. Soto is Juan Soto. Aaron Judge, contrary maybe to some belief, is Aaron Judge. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna produce. Rizzo concerns me a lot. And even John Carl Stan to a degree, who definitely looks better. He is slugging. His at bats have looked pretty damn good for the most part. I mean, you can't necessarily depend on him to always be hot, especially when he's got he's gonna go cold, which who knows if he's about to enter one of those streaks now. With Rizzo the way he's looking, and days where you have to sit Stan. I mean, we saw it the other day when Stanton sat, bro. Like, and with Glaber struggling, the Yankees might need to pick up another piece offensively at the deadline. Because there's times where the lineup doesn't feel as deep as it does when they're really going strong. And again, a big part of that is because not one guy is, like, going too crazy right now. 
Nobody's in like a major hot streak. But it's like, it's almost like in my head with how good Stan's looked, I've quickly gone back to like, okay, Stan's a big bop in the lineup. He's going to produce as like a big piece in the heart of the lineup. That's still not a guarantee, but it's kind of like assumed in my mind that it is a guarantee. Like, oh, he's our five hitter or oh, he's our four hitter. Like he's going to come up in big spots to produce. Like, that's not a guarantee, man. That's really just like not a guarantee. So that coupled with, ooh, with uh, Rizzo not hitting for any power. Like, where are the home runs coming from? On a consistent basis. Again, like Stan, when he gets onto these streaks, and he's doing good so far, so I'm not like talking shit about Stan. I just have like, I just don't want to like completely assume that Giancarlo is back to like 2021 20, Giancarlo or is going to be able to like keep up what he was doing for that week entering this one. I think we'll see a lot of those streaks and maybe he does keep it up the whole season. I don't know. It just puts a lot of pressure on him to be the guy again when Rizzo's not doing anything. And Judge obviously too, but you guys, you know, I Judge I think is going to hit. I know Judge is going to hit. That's why Verdugo getting those two doubles here. That, that's a great sign. Great sign seeing Verdugo get two doubles yesterday. Let's go Stro. Bro, we got to win this freaking game, man. Like, let's not, like, just assume this is a loss. We can't assume this is a loss. Nope. Let's see. What did Austin say? Isn't Spencer hurt? Yeah, he had the uh, he had a stiff neck. I think he, I know he made his debut. I'm pretty sure he uh, is still fine though. So I think he's okay. So Jason over Verdugo, ah, dude, we're so so far away from that man. So far away from that. Still, we don't even know what the deal is going to be with Jason. Like whether or not he'll be ready when he comes back right away. You guys know why I feel. I say bank on giving him a good like 30 days in AAA to start out and then like see where he's at. Now. It doesn't have to take that long, 30 days, but, like, point of that just being, like, you don't have to, like, don't, like, shoehorn him into the lineup right away, having just eight games in his big league career under his belt, coming off Tommy John surgery. He's still just 20 years old or 21 years old. I say give him a little bit of run at AAA. Once he gets hot, all right, see what the situation is, call him up then. But, like, what if Verdugo's hitting? Like, Verdugo's been, not Ben, I shouldn't say that, but. Say he, like, found something yesterday. He had those two doubles, and he just starts to go on a tear. And then come July, when Jason's ready to come back, he's one of our best hitters. Like, you're not just going to bench him for, for Jason. You got to see what the circumstances are. You got to see what the situation is. Like, who's hot, who's not. Obviously, injuries. Getting Jason back will be a huge boost, for sure. But, like, I don't want to look at him as our saving grace. Our saving grace, if we were to need one, would be the guys who aren't hitting, hitting. Oh boy. Let's go, Stro. I would love a 1 2 3 inning here. One more, and then we're already on to the fifth. I'm just saying when he's back. No, I got you. I got you. Let's see here. Um, Dan, can you replace Kevin Smith in the infield for Torres? Is Kevin an outfielder or infielder? I just don't know which position he plays. Kevin Smith is a third baseman slash shortstop. But uh, nah, they wouldn't do that for. Like, for Kevin Smith for Glaber, but again, with uh, with DJ coming back, I mean, with DJ coming back, like, that's an, a viable option if you wanted to, like, sit Glaber for a bit or just get somebody else in at bats. Like, it would make sense to start DJ over Glaber, not not Kevin Smith. But good question, though. Let's see. I don't think JD will be ready right away. I agree with Dan. Yeah, I just, and like, even if he's technically ready, like, health wise, I don't get all that concerned with him. I just, like, as good as he looked last year, and he looked freaking great. Like, I, that was probably the, that was the best week of 2023. Jason's one week being up. But it still was just eight games, is what I say. It was still just eight games. He's only 21 years old. Coming off Tommy John surgery, I just say, like, let's... Mostly my point when I'm saying all this stuff, whenever I bring it up, is, like, let's just not assume you plug Jason back in right away and he's going to pick up where he left off. Like, I feel like that's highly unlikely. So let's just, like, be a little bit patient with him. Although, I do plan on him being a significant player for us at some point this year. Jason hitting that home run off Verlander off his first hit was absolutely insane. Dude, I know. That was... That really felt like a changing of the guard from Astros owning the Yankees to Yankees owning the Astros, which, I mean, so far, so good. You guys don't think Glaber will finally get traded, though? Eh. 
maybe I don't know. I, I don't. I don't see them like like trading him off like mid season. You know. I thought it was. I, I predicted Glaber getting traded the, this past winter though, but I don't think so anymore. Our saving grace will be Cole coming back. In my opinion, that's going to be huge. You know what you're getting with GC. Oh yeah, for sure. I wish I was just talking about like with offense, and I don't want to put it out there like we need a saving grace. As uh, looks like Stroman has a one two three inning word. When I say saving grace, I'm talking about like the way this series has gone and like how to get back on track. It's as simple as guys just got to start hitting, you know. But uh, yeah, getting Garrett Cole will be back. Back will be freaking awesome. You think Gualdo would take over for Glaber for a few games? Nah, no, I mean, it, well, that could happen too. That could definitely happen too because if I was thinking like DJ playing over Glaber sometimes, you could just put DJ at third and Waldo at second. So if that's what you mean, yeah, like Waldo could play second and you have DJ at third. Depends who's better defensively though. I think the Yankees like DJ better at third rather than second at this age, but we'll see. Who do we think is done when DJ comes back? Well, if you look at just the um, like the roster itself you're talking about, what up, Yoshua? How you doing, man? Um, on the roster itself, it'll just be either Kevin Smith or Jemai Jones off the roster. But lineup-wise, I still think to start out, they go a platoon at third base, Waldo against righties, DJ against lefties. But say over the next like week or so, like Waldo gets some big hits off lefties or just throughout this season shows he can hit lefties, no problem, and Glaber keeps struggling, then maybe you kind of bench Glaber. I don't like the word bench because that's just, like, you know the Yanks aren't going to do that, and and yeah, that was a good inning by Stro. Let's go. Um, like, Glaber's not going to be this bad. Like, he's going to pick it up to some degree, you hope. But in the case that he doesn't, and DJ's back, I mean, you have an option to replace him with. Has DJ ever played shortstop? Not with the Yankees, no. He played a little bit back when he was uh, with the Rockies and when he came up with the Cubs, I think. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's way too old now for that. Just focus to play and ball, barrel some balls, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's get going here. We got a... Uh, what was it? Waldo? Yeah, Waldo Wells top. Waldo Wells top. Let's go, chat. Oh, we're already in the, yeah, we're already in the top of the fifth, yo. That's pretty crazy. Glaber looked good in spring training. Not sure what happened. It's weird with Glaber, man. It really is deep. So he looked great last year. He looked really good last year. Like He looked like a very smart, a very matured hitter. And so far, for whatever reason, if I had to guess, I think it's the walkier stuff. Plus, there's a lot of pressure on the team. Started off leading off the Yankees. Yeah. And I want to read that tweet by uh, Keith Fale, because that was a good point, man. Just about the construction of the lineup, that even though Glaber wasn't hitting well leading off, the position of it and the way the lineup was optimized, having Glaber in the lower third with the big guys getting on base, even while struggling, like, well, Soto wasn't struggling, but getting on base like a crazy clip. Judge, while struggling, still getting on base. Rizzo, while struggling, was still pretty much getting on base. And then you'd have Anthony Volpe, just a batter or two behind him, driving in those runs. So, definitely a good point. Something to think about. For sure. I just, I, I don't think the Yankees would go back. Now, what they could do, what the Yankees could do, as an out, although Boone said, kind of went against this yesterday. Once DJ comes back, an easy way to switch things up and get Volpe down in the lower third again, or not even lower third, but I'm dropping down to six, is once DJ does come back, Remember, he was initially going to be the Yankees' leadoff hitter. That was the whole plan. So when he comes back, you could just be like, okay, you know what? He's back. We're going to try him out at leadoff again. Do that. And that's an easy way to slide Volpe back down. Which, again, for those who are just joining, it's nothing to do with Volpe's production. Volpe has been great. It's more so about the way things were working when he was in the six hole. Lineup optimization-wise, that shit was working. Because instead of having what is now Glaber driving in, the guys who are still getting on base, or if they do get on base, Judge, Soto, even Rizzo will take his walks every now and then. You have Glaber behind them, Stanton getting walks, Glaber's behind him, whereas before it was Volpe. He was driving in those runs. Glaber gets hot as soon as he hits that home run in the right center field this week. So yeah, no, I, dude, I just think in general he needs to get that first homer out of the way. That like, he, needs a, he needs a big hit or a homer, get that shit out of the way, and he'll get, he'll get going. At least better off than he is now. Oh, man. I like how Oswaldo does his own little Soto shuffle. Yeah, he does. He uh, he did it a little bit last year, too, but I think as he was struggling, he uh, he dropped it a little bit. But then, uh, you know, now it's definitely back. It's funny, because like, the Soto shuffle, like, for those who kind of know me, I'm like, I tend to be a little more on the boomer side of things. Like, I don't love bad flips when the moment doesn't call for it. I don't like, like, overly showboating guys. But the Soto shuffle, like, the way Waldo does it, 
when you actually, in particular with Soto, like the way you see it when it actually is in front of you, ball outside. Nice. Um, it's such a part of his process of actually like, it helps him be a better hitter. It's not just for show that I love it. Now I'm a biased shill, so no matter what, I would love it when, when the minute he became, became a Yankee. But uh, bias aside, it truly is cool to watch. Hustle. Foul. Sweep, sweep, sweep. What are we doing? Are you, uh, do I gotta boot this guy? Yeah. You're spamming, bro. You're spamming. You could be a fucking trolling Blue Jays fan, but don't spam. Also, Blue Jays fans can't really be talking shit about the Yankees, bro. We owned you pretty much every year of this core. Ended your season in 2021, ended your season in 2022. But so far the series, you guys have the upper hand. I'll give you that. I will give you that. Another reason why you got to win this game. Make sure the season series is split. Ritt, right field. Let's go. Get down, ball. Fuck yes. Let's go. Good start. You're on two. Come on. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. a boy. Let's go. Good start. We have to get this run in. Have to get this run in. Have to. Do the Yankees have an on-base celebration? Uh, they probably have a little, like, hand motion or whatever, but they're, uh, their whole thing has been the dogs, which maybe that's in the past now. I don't know. I didn't love the whole... At least, I didn't mind the dog part of it, but the woofing and the barking, eh. Uh, Waldo had a double D. He had a nice double down the right field line. Or, I shouldn't say down the right field line, but yeah. It was like a good 15 feet off the line, but... Double. Lead off double. Let's go. Come on, Wells. Let's go. God, we gotta score this run. We gotta score this run. My only thing was celebrations. And the dog thing did kind of happen naturally, so I'll give him credit on that, but... I like when they're not forced... Like, the thumbs down to me will still always be the best, the best celebration the Yankees have ever had. This core, at least. Remember when they would, like, throw up fours and, like, nobody knew what it meant? Like, I don't know what that was. Or they would do, like, this. I don't know if it was, like, a heart or a circle or something. Come on, Wells. Celebrations really got to have a purpose for me to, to really like them and embrace them. I think that's what it was, two-tone drip. I think, wasn't it this? Or was that last year? They, like, if somebody hit a double, they would just be like, something like that. Oh, the salt shake, they had that too, yep. Bro, if we don't get this run in, holy crap, then you can say the season is over. Nah, I'm just kidding, but we do really gotta get this run in. Dude, what are we doing, man? Just looking at pitches right down the freaking... Oh, by the way, Walla just keeps hitting. Like, I was excited for a team standpoint because we gotta score runs, but just in his own right, like, he's just, he's been so good. Props to him. Come on. Let's go, Wells. What do you say now, kid? I remember when I heard uh, through a birdie that uh, Austin Wells was traded to uh, the A's for Matt Olson, and I put it out there with the like the disclaimer, like, yo, I'm not a source, but I have heard that Austin Wells was informed that he was traded to the A's for Matt Olson, which that part is true. He definitely was told. He was duped as well. Anyways, he ended up DMing me. He was like, that report's not true. Take it down. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll never do that again. I like couldn't sleep that night. But I technically do have a, a Twitter DM with uh, Austin Wells, so I can say that. He's like, whoever your source is, they're wrong. Okay, Austin. I'm sorry. That's really how I probably sounded if you could hear my voice through the message. I was like, I am so sorry, Austin. If there's anything I can do to, to fix this, please let me know. And I like, deleted the tweet. And Actually, no, I don't know if I did delete the, the tweet. Which I probably should have if I didn't. Alejandro Kirk's got a problem with his contacts. Because I was back when, if you remember, if you're on Yankees Twitter, there's this one dude, that Gary Sanchez bandwagon uh, kid, who like claimed he had sources at the time. And he put out a report that the Yankees were sending Austin Wells to the A's for Matt Olsen. Like, I really bought it myself, too, just in its own right. But I... uh. I know somebody that knows Austin Wells, and I'm like, I stand with this to this day, like, and I'm still told this, that he was under the impression for at least a few minutes that he was being traded to the A's. Not that this means shit anymore, but that's what led to me, uh, I shouldn't call it beef or whatever, but as far as I was concerned, it was beef. I was fucking, I couldn't sleep that night. Future catcher of the New York Yankees fucking hates me. But Austin, I love you, especially if you come through here with a nice RBI single. Or just get the runner over, for Christ's sakes. 2-2. Two, two. Hey! 
I swear, bro. I hope he was actually safe, man. Dude, we just have some tough-ass luck, bro. We really fucking do. God, I think he might be out, bro. I don't even want to see a replay. Chad, I think he might be out. Yeah. I mean, that's a nice play by Waldo if he did get back. Nothing you can really do there. Oh, God. I don't even want to see the fucking replay, bro. He's, he's going to be out. Unless they don't have a back angle. If they don't have a back angle, then there's nothing they can do. Nah, you can't do any of that. Or they can overturn that. I mean, that still sucks, so that ball was hit pretty well. <sighs> you guys think he's safe, right? He got back in time, no yeah, challenge. we're no challenge. That scared the shit out of you, bro. I mean, that, that still sucks regardless, but come on, Volt. Ground ball. Uh, shit, dude. Bro, come on. We need something from Soto right here, dude. Need something from Soto. And not a walk. Need a fucking home run. Come on. Or an RBI single, whatever. Just like anything but a walk. Excuse me. Come on, Soto. And after this inning, I'm going to take a leak, hopefully with the Yankees on the board. Oh, God damn. He has been. Wells, he's been struggling, but he also has been getting a lot of shitty luck. Austin Wells. Come on, Soto, please. Please, please, please. Driven. Let's go! Fuck yes! Let's go, chat! Fuck yes! Huge! Let's go! Oh my god, that's huge. Let's go! Let's go! Fuck yes! Oh, that's huge! Oh my god, do we need that. Holy crap. Holy shit, let's go. We freaking needed that. Now this feed just paused, but just in time, because I did get the clip. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go, Chad. That is absolutely huge. One run on the board. RBI double for Soto. I thought that shit may have been gone for a second. Then I got nervous that Kiermaier was going to catch it, but nope. We got that shit. We are good to go. We're not good to go, but better off than we were. Two minutes ago. That's for sure. Come on, Cap. What do you say now, Cap? Did I send this to myself yet? Come on, Cap. Let me get my VPN up here. Kind of multitask. I gotta get stuff on Yanks Ave. Quickly, just in case. Cap comes through too. Dude, that's such a huge hit by Soto. Such a huge hit, man. Gotta build off that. Dude, my hands are like frozen from the air conditioning. I can't hardly type. Dude, I'm literally typing slow motion right now. Nice. Oh, that's huge. Cool. I gotta like update Instagram. My shit's kind of bugging out. All right, let's go, Cap. Come on. I don't want to look at that TV just yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, chat. God, that's a, that was a bomb. He crushed that shit. Here we go. Come on, Cap. One, two. You're good. Just do your thing, yo. No pressure. No pressure. Good eye. a boy. Two, two. Come on. Here we go. Let's go, chat. Let's go. One run on the board there is fucking great. Oh, I might get a good dinner now tonight. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, two outs. Come on. Let's go, Cap. See your pitch. Let's go. Be smart, huh? No, good eye. Let's go. Three, two. Come on. Come on, chat. Let's go. Let's go. How we feeling? How we feeling? We ready to go? Ready to go? Oh, hell yeah. 270 people here? Let's go. Let's go. You ready to see this shit get tied up? Sorry, I had to come. I have like a bald spot over here. Every time I go on the YouTube, I see it. But I'll shave my fucking head bald if Judge can go deep here. 3 2. Damn it! Oh, Judge is pissed. Hey. Hey, I will fucking take. We got to run on the board. We got to run on the board. Yeah. 
They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. All right. Let's get this Soto thing up on Facebook. Okay, Judge striking out there. That fucking sucks. That sucks. But we're on the board. We are on the board, folks. 2-1. Blue Jays lead. Now we get a good shutdown inning from Strowman, which, speaking of, how many pitches is Strowman at right now? Strowman's only at 73 pitches, so need a good, clean 1-2-3-5th. Who's up right now? Is it Kirk, Kiermaier on the top? I'll be right back. I got to take a leap. We're on the board. That is good. All right, all right, all right. We have life. Chat, we have life. And yo, I, I'm frustrated about Judge, too. I, that's, that, I, he's got to wake up. He will. Got to do it soon. Got to do it soon. But yo, we'll take it. We got to run on the board. Got over 240 in the chat. Yo, yo, yo. What are we talking about? Hey, what's going on here? Oh. He's out. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're back. We are back. He's so out, bro. He, <laughs> let's go. Oh, come on, bro. He's so out. He's out. Oh, come on, man. Oh, he's asking the challenge. Although players always ask. He looks out as a duck, bro. Come on. They're going to challenge. Blue Jays are pretty reckless with the... Oh, he looks safe. Bro, I think he's safe. I think he might be safe. Fuck. Man, we get one back, bro, and then we just fucking let up a double right away, Stro. Is that what we're doing? Ooh, wait! Oh! I don't know, man. I, mean, I still don't feel great, but I don't know if it's a foregone conclusion that he's, uh, they're gonna overturn it. But I felt that last time, so who the frick knows? Can you just like throw us a bone? I thought I thought they're supposed to be biased towards the Yankees. Is that what we always hear? That like the Yankees get favoritism? Can we get some of that? <laughs> Please? <sighs> yeah, he's probably safe, but with the call in the field being out, you never know. You never know. I will hold my breath. God, this is such a huge fucking call right here. Right, can we like get on with it? If it's taking this long, bro, just don't overturn it. Ah, call stands. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Fuck yes. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck yes. That's huge. That's huge, yo. 
Oh my god, bro. I did not even see what the hell happened to lead to that. Glaber just that shit went right under his fucking glove. What the hell? Dude, that's insane. Bro, Glaber, what are you doing? Whatever, whatever. Dude, my right hand is literally like numb. Hey, good shit, Soto. Good shit. Okay. Look at Glaber going to his left. Dude, that's a that's insane. Like you have to just make that play. What are we doing? And a boy stroke. Come on. Dude, I, yeah, I didn't even see that at first. I guess I don't know what's happening as I was coming back in the room or what. But let's go. What's going on in here? One two. Two two. It's fucking cold as shit in my room right now. Ground ball left side. Let's go, Volk. Come on, make the play. Nice play. Nice play. What a play, dude. Effortless. Let's go. I love how Rizzo just casually catches it. Doesn't even stretch. That was a really nice play. Good shit. Good shit. Volpe, no reason to ever worry about him and his defense. He's made some blunders again, but dude is fucking locked down for the most part over there. And we checked it before. Plus five defensive run saves already this season. Volpe's a good shortstop. Volpe is a good shortstop. Wolves played a pretty good third. Again, just... Glaber and surprisingly Rizzo so far. Four assists for Soto this season. Nice. That's a good pitch. Good splitter. Yeah, what's going on? Yo, Fayo, if you want to boot somebody, by all means. Chris, don't be fucking giving Fayo shit or anybody's shit, bro. You really are, like, stirring up the pot today, being all negative and shit and all the crap you're saying. Just relax. Just calm the F down, for real. We're all salty, bro. Trust me, but just gotta relax. Gotta freaking relax. And we just got on the board. We just got on the board. Good vibes right now. Juan Soto's throw out a base runner. Strowman's dotting fucking splitters and sinkers. Get through this inning, and then who do we got coming up? Who made the last out? Was it yeah, Judge? Um, and we got Rizzo, Stanton, Torres. Okay. Ba -na 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 -na. <laughs> Trying to see what. And a boy, let's go, Stro. Good ing. Let me see what his Waldo's defensive run saved are. Wallace at zero defensive run safe, which is good. That means he's been like serviceable. He's been average. He's not been negative or anything. So he's holding down the fort. All right, yo, we got a, uh, we got Rizzo, Stan, Glaber. Let's go, let's go. What is going on? No, Chris, what is the chat? Yeah, Chris, chill, bro. Like I don't want to boot you. Like you're a good dude. Seem like a cool dude. Like been here pretty much every game so far. But like don't be causing no fucking trouble with anybody in here or fail. No, Chris, I got you, like, but like, I'm not going to be in the chat all the time. So you're talking to other people in the chat, too. So you're not always just talking to me, you're talking to everybody. Dan, do you think swapping Soto and Judge and Lionel would wake up Judge is bad? I, Samuel, I think it's a good point. I think it's a good point. If the Yankees got to the point where they're like, okay, we got to get Judge going, we got to, like, do something to wake him up, easy solution is that, swap him. Which, it's funny, though, because I thought that, I, that was my whole thing going in, was, no, you bat Judge second, keep him at two, bat Soto third. I was more so nervous about it on Soto's end because he's so comfortable batting third. And just, yo, keep it, uh, 
Don't be all cap and in, bro. What are you talking? Um, anyways. Um, yeah. Definitely something to consider. Definitely something to consider. Let's see. And your boy wants to come at me for speaking to you. I mean, bro, whatever Feo says to you, I vouch for. feo has got my back. And if you were saying something, like, in an antagonistic way, I'm sure it was pretty obvious. I didn't see what you said, but... You gotta chill, bro. You gotta chill. More of the shit, I'm gonna have to boot you. Or if Feo wants to boot you, it's... He has the right. Yeah, change the order should be in the mind of boot, at least somewhat. Yeah, the more... The thing I think about the most is what we've been talking about all day, just with the Glaber and Volpe thing. But... I think the only out they have with that is when DG comes back, if they backtrack on what... They said yesterday what Boone said that he's not going to take Volpe out of the leadoff spot. When DJ comes back, that's an easy way you could if you could slide him in there, and then that puts Volpe's production towards the bottom. Wells ninth is bad. I don't think so. I, mean, I actually I like Wells. Just like I mean, he's not going to hit. It's bad. But like if he gives you anything out of the nine hole, then it'd be really good. But so far, obviously, you know he hasn't. Yeah, for real, bro. Ain't causing no problem, dude. I'm really about to go off. All right, Kristen, you're out of here, bro. You're out of here if you're going to start acting like that, dude. Like, this is about Yankees baseball. I don't care about any of this stupid shit. You're in... Bro, Chris, I was like... No, Faye, I'm saying, uh... Oh, I got you. I got you, yeah. But, like, you have... Whatever you want to do. Everybody hates Chris. Nah, Chris, it's like, just chill, bro. Just chill. Like, for real. All I care about is the Yankees and baseball. Like, let's just relax. None of that drama shit. One dead. Rizzo pops out. God. Alright. Not going to permanently boot him, but Chris, you are in timeout for the rest of today. Come back tomorrow and just relax. All right, everybody, Chris is gone. I'm not going to boot him forever, at least for now, because Chris has been pretty chill. Like, I actually, I like Chris. He's been in every stream. But uh, 24-hour timeout, so you can come back tomorrow. Just be chilling. The main thing I care about, bro, I don't want to be, like, distracted from the fucking game, dude. Like, the stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, right now. Of course, Nelson's trolling me when he says, I love drama. I hate it, especially when I'm watching a fucking game. That shit drives me crazy. I was telling my dad this morning. He's like, he's like, you didn't pay that freaking traffic ticket. I'm like, I'm like, you really telling me that? While well, the Yankees are on a three-game losing streak and about to get swept by the Blue Jays, you, you want me to worry about a traffic ticket when I have to deal with this shit? Nah. Let's focus on the fucking Yankees. All the other shit can wait. God damn. This is like the only thing to be stressed about right now is the Yankees. That's the beauty of it. Well, you've had a fucking good day, tough day, long day. Fucking slaving away at work. I don't know. Ground ball left side. Ugh. This is the time to just fucking kick back and worry about one thing. The New York motherfucking Yankees. Which would be nice if MLB TV would let me do because my VPN is fucking working. What? Oh, no. I just put it on Helen Keller mode. Oh, no, chat. Oh, no. Yes, there we go. I put it on, I had it on a, I had it on a, like, extra accessibility mode for, like, when you're blind, and you have to, like, uh, I'll do it on my phone sometimes, I just did it on my computer, I, I'm trying to explain, like, what it is, it's, like, where, if you're blind, you can do, like, voice commands, that's why if you just heard a little robot voice, that's what that was, that's why I called it Helen Keller mode, it's if Helen Keller was real, and was alive in this point in her life to use a computer, that's how she would use it, but I fixed it, two outs on Glaber, one, one count, I've made some real big mistakes. Oh, here's that changeup guy again. Oh, come on, MLB. Why is there a fucking ad popping up on my, uh... Which, I don't know why, yo, I don't have that setting on, by the way, for ads on YouTube. No, no, I do, but not like the live streams. I don't, I don't turn it on the live streams until after, uh, after we're done. All right, I'm leaving the country again. 
Seattle ain't working. We're going to go to Japan. 2-2. Two, two. Still early. So if they don't score here, we still got another nine outs after this. You guys are all fucking OG MFers, by the way. Everybody in this chat right now. And like, I don't care if shit gets a little like... like we're arguing about like Yankees baseball and that's all it is. Whatever, as Glaber fucking strikes out. Goddamn. That's cool. That's dope. Like, argue about baseball all you want. Like, why the team is struggling. Like, how can they switch things up. Like, lineup changes. Like, that whole deal. That's dope. But like, none of that bullshit that Chris came in with today. I don't know what that was about. And yo, know, sometimes you just wake up on the wrong side of the bed. That's all good. That's all good. That's why I put him in 24-hour timeout. We'll see who he is tomorrow. And that'll be that. All right, I think my VPN is almost back up and working. Obviously, that was a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing there. But again, nine outs left to go. And that will give us Verdugo, Cabrera, Wells, then top next inning. Yeah. Who, me, Taz? You want me to get a glass of water? Why? What are you saying? <laughs> Do I, are you saying I look dry right now? Has. I mean, I'll have a glass of water. I'll have some water, all right. Happy now, Mom. <laughs> what VPN is best? I'm not actually sure. I was thinking about switching mine up lately, to be honest. I use ExpressVPN, which is so, like, I don't want to say hit or miss, because most of the time it technically works, but it's like it'll get interrupted halfway through. I don't know if that's an MLB TV thing, because I know that they are trying to crack down on VPNs, which is whack. So it might be because of MLB TV, or it might be because I need to try a new VPN. I'm not sure. We need you to do a food review, Dan. This game is enough entertainment. I don't know what I'm going to eat today, dude. Let's see. What is it? Let me just think about the rest of my day. So it's about to be 5 o'clock. I'm banking on making highlights because I assume, not assume, but like I'm hoping the Yankees will, I'm still hoping that they'll win. Um, and I got a good amount of editing to do, but then the nice part of it being a 3 o'clock game, then I have kind of the whole night to, oh, name that Yank. 05 to 09. Dude, that's so hard. Blue Jay 2013 to 2014. He was on the team in 09. That was a good name, that Yank. On the team in 09, like 144 career homers. I can't look at the chat in case you guys spoil the answer. Yeah, I, I should know this. 05 to 09. Yeah, let's see. 144 career homers. Let's see. Couldn't have been a catcher. First base. No. Oh, man, I, this is going to bother me when I see it. He was a, a Yankee from 05 to 09, 144 career home runs. Went to the Blue Jays. The, or it was the Braves in 2010. Off the wall, thank God. Alright, man, still not ideal. I thought that may have been gone for a second. Um, I'm getting fucking cold now. I can't think of that name, that Yank, bro. Is he like an outfielder? It's not Melky. Wait. Was, did they say Giants? It could it could have been possibly Melky. All right, my I'm gonna look up Melky's stat page. This doesn't count as cheating because I'm like guessing Melky, but yeah, Melky. Yep. So they did have the Giants on there. I should know. Yeah, Melky Cabrera. Definitely Melky Cabrera. We in agreement? Let's see. What are you guys saying? I think it was Melky Cabrera. Yep, Melky. Yep. Word. Okay. Cool. 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 Sweet. Nice. All right. Cool. That would have bothered. Uh, bothered. I was gonna say. Bothered. What was I gonna say? Bothered? Oh, I don't know what I was gonna say, but yeah, bothered. It would have bothered me if I didn't get that. I, mean, I was gonna say annoyed and I combined it. I don't know. But yeah, Melky, cool. Honestly, I'm surprised I didn't get that sooner. There were so many teams that I was like looking all over the place. If I saw Giants, I definitely would have remembered because with Melky, remember, he was like on an MVP pace. 
in 2012 and then got popped for steroids. A lot of people say he was hanging around A-Rod and uh, Robbie Cano a little bit too much. So Melky and Robbie and Cano, I guess they came up the same year. It would have gotten your knickers in a twist. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about if I didn't get that name, name that yank right, Fayo? If you're talking to me, yeah, it would have. It would have gotten my knickers in a twist. Strowman got a neck tattoo. Yeah, he does. He got hella tattoos. Bro, if I could just snap my fingers and have a full ass sleeve, I'd be so down. Am I a Knicks fan? Yep, casually, but yep. Let's go, Stro. Really need to not let this run score. It's about to be 5 o'clock. Sound the church bells. That's a home run siren in Yankee Stadium. Oh, I'm gonna have to turn my AC down. It's fucking brick now. Two two. Ball low. Oh man. Oh man. Please just get him out. Don't let this run score. If you can get Turner out, I'll be feeling good. You walk Turner, not so good. They're set up outside. Stroman's been missing when you set up out there a lot. Eh, you got one. No, 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 get one, get one. Nice, okay, cool. One dead, now we just could really use a strike out here. Do not let this run score. Nothing that can give up a fly ball. Let's go sinkers and, sinkers and sliders low. Sinkers and sliders low. Splitters too. That's it for Stroh, actually, so... Hey, he did good. Did good. We lose today. Certainly ain't his fault. Bro, I, I would go to fucking Ian Hamilton right now. They're probably going to, like, Nick Birdie, but... Do we know who they're going to, chat? Do we know who they're going to? Peace out, Brox Bombers. Yeah, honestly, I probably would have liked... I, I kind of thought Stroh was going to stay in there, but if they're going to... Oh, they're going to Ferguson? I guess there's a lefty coming up. Who's a... Biggio. Okay. You're used to practicing your swing, but now it's time to practice making your voice heard. Your gentle but firm instruction will be See, this is where not having like a big time strikeout guy in the pen hurts. Because we could really use a strikeout right now. Also, Dodgers fans were telling me that like Ferguson was throwing like, he can throw like 97 he was throwing last year. And we have not Let's not remember something. He has not thrown that hard with us at all. Let's see. Last year, 70 Ks and 60 and a third. So he can strike guys out. Nothing too crazy, but like about like a 10. Career caper nine of 10.6. So far this year, it's at eight. Six Ks and what? Six innings? Six Ks and six and two thirds innings. Strikeout here is much needed. Let's go, Ferg. Need a strikeout here. I don't know if I fully trust Ferguson. I trust him on a general sense, but he's not a guarantee to get a strikeout, which is definitely what we need right now. Dan, you ever played Baseball 9? Uh, is that the mobile game? Baseball 9. Like uh, 9 innings? I played that. I understand that you can challenge everything else but not balls and strikes. It's coming, Zach. It's coming at some point. Man, the first team that's like clearly out of it, maybe like the Marlins see what their deal is. Like, let's hit them up and get their highest K per nine reliever. Make them a yank. Definitely need Kainley back, but who knows what the deal is with him. Yeah, good start for Stroh. Good start for Stroh. Come on, Ferg. Here we go. Infield's in. I'm getting hungry. So Bidger's not even a lefty. Did he switch? Oh, wait. They pinch hit for Biggio. Ah, I see, I see. I was going to say. Oh, and two. Come on. 
0 and 2. Yeah, here's a here's the Boone look alike. Who said they asked? Was that uh, Samantha? I think. Dan gonna have 25 more munchkins now. You know what? Screw you, Nelson. And why do you say more? Because you know I already had a, a 25 count this morning. I only ate like eight of them. Damn it. Nelson, we should land tonight, dude. Actually, no, I go to the warehouse tomorrow really early. 0-2. Nice! Let's go! Boy, is that huge. Sit down, Boone Jr. That really is such a great comp. I think it was Sam in the chat that said it yesterday. He really does look like a younger Aaron Boone. He really does. Does look like a young Aaron Boone. Yep. Needed that shit. Hey, what up, Rory? What up, yo? Yep, that was big. 100%. Exactly what we needed. That is huge. Now we got a... Uh, who's this? Uh, Schneider. Had a single before through the shift. Let's... Uh, nice. Let's go. Let's go, Ferg. Come on, bro. I will fucking buy a Caleb Ferguson jersey if he gets out of this. Not really, because they don't sell them, but... Send me a link, and I'll buy it if he gets out of this. Why not? I'll be like the first person ever, not even just a Yankees Caleb Ferguson jersey, but in general, I'll probably have, outside of like his wife and kids, to have a Caleb Ferguson jersey. Oh, and two. I'm going to settle down, though. This is going so well, this relief adding, that I feel like on O2, this is where they come through with an RBI single, and I fucking lose my shit. Come on. I almost don't want to look. Oh, and two. Ooh, he's, still, he's looking good. He's painting. Just missed there. Good miss. Good miss, good miss, good miss. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting freaking hungry. Going to be at the warehouse at 8 a.m. Sam says, Sam Tassie says, no later than 8. Would rather you be there at 7 than be late. And I will not be late. When Sam tells me not to be late. Dude, my like right hand is legit like numb. This is crazy. From how cold it is in here. But I like it cold. I like it nice and brisk. I hate brisk uh, iced tea though. Popped up. <laughs> Huge. Fuck yeah, Ferg. What'd it be? What'd it be? Yo, send me a freaking link on Twitter to a Caleb Ferguson shirt and I will buy it. I'll buy it. Some lymphatic drainage herbs. can't see it's a uh, organic lymphatic liquid extract support a herbal blend from Mary Ruth's because I have a like lymphedema I thought I had uh, no disrespect to those who have dealt with it but uh, I was I had a big lymphoma scare for a couple years and it turns out it was just uh, I have overactive lymph nodes so that helps keep them at bay sort of my hypochondriacism but yes that was a huge 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 performance by Caleb Ferguson not gonna lie, I thought, was, thought Dan was about to start doing his eyebrows. <laughs> it does kind of, yeah, I guess it kind of looks like it's like mascara or whatever. Okay. Fayo, I will take your word for it. I will take your word for it when it comes to stuff like this. I didn't really anything. The H is silent. It's herbal. Is that right? Not herbal. That, I feel like I kind of, sh I should have known that. You're right. No, I know that. It's herb. Like herb, yeah. Herb. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. Um, what up, Sam? Yeah, Sam, didn't you say it yesterday about the, uh, um, how Clement looks like a young Aaron Boone? Has multiple reported zombie sightings in Chicago. Taz, I can never tell if you're a troll or not, bro. But you don't seem to be causing any trouble. Good time to plug your jersey hookup spot. Oh, you're so right, Nelson. Yo, link in bio if you guys want to uh, get a jersey. Good ass deal. Check it out. Why spend over $150 when you can buy them for $55 or less at Jersey and Sneakers.com? We're having a limited time buy three, get one free deal. But wait, there's more. We've got a killer selection of sneakers and shorts, too. We've got all sports covered with worldwide shipping available. Don't miss out. Click the link in the description to shop now. Way to be, Nelson, my good old buddy. Keep me in check, making sure I pay the bills around here. Yes, jerseysneakers.com, link in bio, buy three, get one free, or slash and, and slash or, use code YANKS10 for 10% off. They're legit. It's a, I wear the Juan Soto jersey you guys always see me wearing, which I might break out Friday night against the Rays. That's from there. It's dope as shit. They're not authentic. But they might as well be. Might as well be. All right, let's go over Dukes. Down by one. Very much still a ball game right now. Very much still a ball game. Heads up. Heads up. Also, while we're here, so I can just get that out of the way, 
Going into games, concerts, anything like that, Code Yanks Ave, 20 bucks off at SeatGeek. Code Yanks Ave, 20 bucks off. SeatGeek. Dude, what a job by Ferguson. That was badass. Come on. Yo, I like have good vibes about the rest of this game. Like I like I feel good. Like we I feel like we're kinda locked in right now. Like my hopes are up. My hopes are up, chat. I thought my mic went out for a second. I saw a big like red line. Okay, getting creative, all good. All good, yo. Do 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 feed just died. I hate my VPN. Hey, all good, Verdugs. Yo, Verdugo's piss face. I, I fucking I love his piss face, bro. No, oh, I see one out on my ahead MLB scoreboard. So Verdugo definitely gets out here. I just hope it wasn't a strikeout, but who gives a shit? Yep. Actually, yeah, who cares if it's a strikeout or not? Now it's a freaking out. In most cases. In most cases. Yeah, that was a nice play by Wald, though. Yep. I love a good old intentional one hop. I remember watching David Wright do that when I was younger. Like, one hop a ball intentionally to first base on a play similar to that. My dad was like, you know he did it on purpose, right? I was like, no, he didn't. Why would he intentionally throw a ball into the dirt? He's like, safer throw. Gets it there faster from that angle. Or from that deep in the uh, in the pocket at third. Very true. Very true. We'll see shortstops do it sometimes on the occasion. Like, it's really deep in the hole, but not as much. Let's go! Dude, Waldo's good, man. Waldo's just fucking good. He's good, dude. That is so awesome. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, John. We're winning this game. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, that's really exciting. Waldo's like legitimately just good. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Good, good, good call out, Zach. That is from the right, right side of the plate. That is from the right side of the plate. The double, he was. Yeah, that was against Gosman, so he's obviously betting lefty. Sweet. Nice. Pinch hit for the nine hole. No, they're not going to do it. They're going to uh, lefty lefty for Wells, which. Big spot, man. Show you can do something against him. Ooh, good cut, good cut. Little inside. You know vibes are good when I say, uh, you know, good cut and a swing and a miss. Eh, I guess I, I, I do that even when we're struggling. But I feel good right now. Like, there's a lot of game left. It's only the seventh. We're down by one. Ferguson just looked good. Look, let's, let's do something here. Good eye. Attaboy. Attaboy. Hey, I think the, uh, the score bug is, like, really nicely timed. On the ESPN score bug I have up here for once. It's actually, like, I think properly synced up. Let's go, Wells. Come on, 1-1 one, one count. Good eye. That's such a good take, dude. Lefty and lefty, that's a great take. I'll be honest, I am still shocked about Cabrera. I'm pleasantly surprised. Me too, Sam. Me too. Me freaking too. Let's go, Wells. Big spot, come on. No double play. Ooh. Two good swings, man. Rather than fucking swing at that shit than just look at it right down the D. <laughs> I saw somebody on Twitter say today, they're like, somebody was like talking about me in some like thread and they're like, I like Dan, but he's going to have to tone down on the cursing if he ever wants to have a future in broadcasting. Spoiler, I don't intend to like, I, I'm not like trying to pursue oh, this God. shit like as a, I'm not like trying to join the Yes Network anytime soon for those wondering. But I appreciate, he, he was being a nice guy. And again, I don't curse like, it was like trying to be a punk or nothing. It's just, you know, it's how you, that's how you watch a ball game, yeah? Let's go, Wells. Come on. 2-2. Two, two. I think he's going to hit him with a slider. Yep. Ground ball right side. Oh, this is going to be two. Come on, man. See, the double plays are really fucking terrible. That's tough. That's tough. All right, well, we got top of the lineup next time up. Yeah. Now, Faye, he does have, like, a lot of his, his hard hit stats are up there. At least they were for a while. And the first game, he hit a couple balls hard. And even his last at bat before. But, no, you're right. Like, you can only say that for so long before, like, you do need results. For sure. I mean, Swisher has a worse mouth, and he made it. <laughs> well, yeah, but he was a baseball player first, Austin. But, again, I'm not, I'm not exactly the suit-wearing uh, suit type. I was when I worked at Verizon as a phone salesman. 
Yes, they did make us wear wear suits. Nelson can attest to that. Now you didn't have to wear the jacket, but I chose to wear it because, you know. The only curse I'm worried about is the one you put on Judge Dan. Maybe I did curse Judge, man. I don't know. First year doing watch parties and all of a sudden forgets how to hit. What the hell? What was it? Five plus balls right now in the sweet spot, just directly at people. Yeah, but hey. I'm, I get in the middle with that stuff where it's like, okay, hope for the future that he, and I already have that with Wells. Like, I know he's he's got talent offensively that he'll be able to hit, but also still frustrated that he just grinded to a double play. Shade the mustache is not working. I don't know, Remington. I'm pretty sure Wells has had the mustache like since we drafted him. Let me look up a picture of Austin Wells drafted. I'll pull it in here for you guys to see. I'm pretty sure he like, had the mustache back then, unless I'm mistaken. Actually, no, he probably wasn't even at the draft. Oh, God, he used to have, like, a beard and shit. No, 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 he did not have a mustache back then. But he ha he's had it, like, a while in the minor leagues, though. Oh, God. Hold on. This is the picture that the Yankees used when they drafted him from Arkansas State. I think he went... Wait, no, not Arkansas. That's where K-Mac went. Maybe not. I don't know. That's a picture of Marcus Stroman. Like, what am I? What am I doing? Sorry. Is this the picture? There we go. There's Austin Wells in college, playing a little bit of first base. I think he looks better now. I think he looks much better now. All right. Is everyone in John Boy Yankees fan? Nah. There's a. Fuck, man. Dude, that sucks, bro. Oh, that's tough. That is really freaking tough, chat. Yeah, for real. That's tough. That is really freaking tough, man. All right. Two runs. Two run deficit. Got to hold it here. That stinks, man. That freaking stinks. <sighs> that all but guarantees that I'm going to get a Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich after this. Win or lose. I just feel like now I've been put through enough this series to where I deserve it. Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. Rizzo's got it when dead. Um, I might do a freaking baconator too. Not ideal. That is not ideal, chat. Dude, a sweep by the Blue Jays would just suck. I'm going to try to like laugh about it if it happens, but just know I won't be laughing. Inside. Got to get Kiermaier out. And then you have a... Uh, I don't even remember. Who leads off the Blue Jays again? Oh, yeah, Springer. I was going to say Bell, but he bats like third, second, whatever the fuck. <sighs> God damn. Does anyone know why Aaron Judge is so bad at baseball this year? No, we have no idea, first and last. We have no idea why Aaron Judge is struggling so far. I feel like they start going again with the home crowd. Yo, two-tone, I agree 100%. Just in general, I want to get back to Yankee Stadium. Doesn't give him any excuse to get swept in Toronto, but... Definitely looking forward to getting back. There's not having a great start, and then there's literally being the worst player on the team. Well, that's just not true. He's not the worst player on the team. So if you're going to like start acting like that, be correct. He's not the worst player on the team. You see Austin Wells' stats? Give me a break. You see Glaber Torres' stats? Rizzo's too, so come on. He's not the worst player on the team. Get a grip. He's struggling. It's frustrating. Get a grip. Chicken sandwiches. How do you like him without the mayo? Bro. Come on, you can't be fucking walking Kevin Kiermaier, bro. Any food without mayo is better off, is my take. All right, that's it for Ferguson. Okay, second worst. No, not even the second worst on the team, bro. 
Like, I would just say, like, keep that fucking punk-ass attitude a little bit relaxed for when he, in a week from now, or whenever it is, returns to being one of the greatest hitters in baseball history. Just maybe show a little bit of respect, all right? Yeah, he's gotten off to a slow start, but you're falling to the same crowd that booed Derek Jeter when he got off to, what, an 0 for 36 start in 2005? And then, you know, gets serenaded the rest of the way for everything that he does. So, just relax. That explains why you don't like Big Mac sauce. Exactly, dude. Don't like Big Mac sauce. Don't like Big Mac sauce. Mm-hmm. Statistically, by B. Ward, judges the 12th best player on the team. Yeah, I mean, obviously off to a slow start. We're saying he's been the worst part of the team is, like, come on. Judge hits all his homers in one game when they're up 7-2, to though. That's not true. That is just, that's just flat out not true, bro. Go look at the, go look at 2022. Go, You know what? Do me a favor, bro. Go watch it 2022 home runs and tell me that those weren't important homers. The year where his most notorious home run hitting season where he broke Aaron, uh, Roger Maris's home run record. Go watch that back and tell him that those... We're not important home runs. Note that includes, but yeah, of course. Dan, so no mayo on your hot dog. Mayo and relish. Yeah, no no relish either, dude. No relish. Okay, but like he literally spent, I'm not disputing at all that Judge has been bad. I agree. Like 100% he's been bad. Yeah, in the postseason, Judge has not been great. He was, uh, he had some big hits in 2017. He has not been good. He was not good against Cleveland in both series. 17 and 22. Hit a home run in 2020. But yeah, nah. Uh, homer wise, he's actually been solid overall. But yeah, he's not been great in the playoffs. Judge isn't the problem. Honestly, CJ, I think it's a. Uh, I would say Judge is part of the problem right now. But I don't know. Like maybe I'm different, yo. And maybe it's because I'm such a Judge diehard. But there's a certain nuance you go about saying it, is the way I see it. When a guy that's done so much for your franchise is an all time great amongst a franchise that is filled with greats has done so much for this team this fan base as a shitty two weeks there's a certain nuance that i will speak about his struggles with is the way i see it you know what i mean again it's Derek jeter got booed in 05 for his slow start which i don't know i don't want anybody to think i'm like I mean, I've said a million times here the judge is struggling. He's got to wake up. But there is a certain way to say it about certain guys. It's not like, like, I feel like some people talk about judge the same way they would talk about Josh Donaldson not hitting last year or some shit, which is, I don't know. Me personally, doesn't sit right, but. First and second one out. What I hate about the postseason argument is it's such a small sample size all the time. If you get hot at the time, you remember it's a postseason great player. If you're not, you're a choker. Yeah, that goes into it. And the pitching is so much tougher. I look at po the postseason much more about like moments rather than like overall stats. I mean, it can be about overall stats. But that's what people bring up when, like in 2022, like I, looked at, I look at 2022 as like a continuation of Giancarlo Stanton does well in the playoffs. But his stats weren't great, yes, but... He had two really big homers in that series. Particularly, I mean, the big one was what sent him to uh, the ALCS. But people look at that Cleveland series and be like, he wasn't that good in that series. He hit, like, under 200. But when you have moments that are key in your team advancing or just winning a game, that goes a long way. So, like, Judge, for example, 2017. Cleveland series was not really good at all. But in the Astros series, had a big three-run homer. But more in particular, that RBI double off the wall to tie it up in game four. That was a big hit. 2018, raked in the playoffs, was phenomenal. 2019, had a good ALDS. ALCS had a big two-run go-ahead homer against Justin Berlander. Would have been a game winner, but game ended up getting blown. Overall, wasn't amazing in that postseason, but also wasn't bad. 2021, one game. 2020, had like two go-ahead homers. 2022, his, he, that was, I feel like, the worst playoffs for him. Because he was coming off that uh, the crazy season and kind of fell off a little bit in the playoffs, but shit happens. Shit freaking happens. Let's go Hamilton. I feel like I haven't seen Hamilton pitch in a bit. It's been a few days. I guess just since Cleveland. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Three, two. Oh! Oh, man. Chat, I really want to win this game. 
would really like to win this freaking game. Gotta get out of this. Then who do we got coming up? Give me the last out. Oh, we got top, don't we? Yeah, as well as double play. Now Hamilton walks Vlad. This team is good, not great. Let's. Oh, Sharif, you. If you think I'm gonna make the like, uh, if I'm gonna like proclaim certain things about this team in the midst of a three-game sweep, I think that's just as silly as those who were saying guaranteed World Series when we swept the Astros, which. And, you know, I was probably doing that too. But no, nah, that's just... I'm not going to fall victim of the moment. Just a shitty series. Because then it's like... What the hell was that? Um, oh, fucking strike and then pitch clock violation. Now it's 1-0. Then it's like... Then it's like if they sweep the Rays this weekend, you sound like an idiot. If you say, oh, like this team isn't good. And they go out and sweep the Rays this weekend, for example. And it's like... You might as well not even make an opinion after that. If you go back and forth and just... Full victim of the moment. Especially on the negative side. Like, if you want to be delusionally positive, like, much better off doing that than unnecessarily negative. One one. Let's go, Hamilton. Come on. Yeah, I don't want to see the fucking spoiler. One, two. Fly ball to right. That's probably going to get a fucking run in. Please just let it go foul, dude. Oh. I almost just would have let that shit go foul, bro. I mean, I guess in the moment you don't even think to do that, and, and now it's good, but if that shit went foul, I would not have had an issue with that. I'd just go for the strikeout. Yep. So here's Justin Turner, first and third, two outs. And a strike to Turner. Turner's over for three. Double play ground ball fouled off to the catcher and grounded back to the pitcher. Yeah, so if we lose this, bro, we fall to 12 and 7 after being 12 and 3. That's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. One and two. I can't wait to get back home to Yankee Stadium. Look better. Eh, word. I, no problem with the mess looking good. I want. I, I root for the mess to do well. They got nothing to do with us, unless we're playing them, obviously. All right, Hamilton. Hey, down by three now. Um, Asbury Park, not nah, Seaside Park, right by Tom's River. He looks like he's been through some stuff in the military. Yeah, uh, Hamilton. If you don't know, he got what was it a car accident? I think he had some sort of accident. Bullpen needs work. Do you, I mean, I think the bullpen's still one of the last four problems. I mean, right now it's yeah, the defense, then guys just got to get going with the bat. But bullpen definitely could use the return of Tommy Canely and then an addition for sure. What are we talking about the bullpen? I would say uh, Hamilton's number one, then Clay Holmes. 
So yeah, Hamilton one. This is from yesterday. I didn't update it. Uh, Holmes two. Right now, probably Birdie three. <laughs> Santana four. Eh, maybe Ferguson then Santana. There's only a couple of real standouts, and it's it's Holmes and Ian Hamilton. The rest are kind of a uh, projects. That I mean, Birdies look pretty damn good. Santana's look pretty damn good, but can't really call them sure things just yet. Is that what it was? Let me look it up. This should be something that I can rely on Wikipedia for. Let's see. Oh, that's right, Fail. Yep. June 4th, while sitting in the dugout, Hamilton was struck in the face with a batted ball. Three teeth were knocked out of his mouth, and he suffered, suffered multiple facial fractures, which required surgeries to repair. I wonder like, how different he looked before that. He actually didn't look that different before the uh, surgery. Here, I'll show you. This is from his um, like perfect game, uh, expo. What's it called showcase. Kind of looks pretty similar. So he's always a pretty intimidating looking dude. All right, top. Let's go. Let's work some good abs. Morgan just uh, sent me the link for the uh, custom Yankee shirt. Can't get it anymore, Mo uh, Morgan, but I appreciate it. If Ferguson didn't give up the freaking bomb. Yeah, and even there was a little stretch where Soto had a couple of games. Uh, we'll see what the offense can do here. We'll see what the offense can do. My mind is partially starting to think towards, like, just get back home, start fresh. Yankees raise, Yankee Stadium. Which will be the pitching matchups for that? That'll be Clark. Be going on Friday. Yep, it'll be Clark, Nestor, Luis Heel for those three games: Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Fly ball left center. For show for the first out. Make no mistake, getting swept by the Blue Jays, no matter how hot a start you got off to, regardless of the situation, is an absolute disaster. So here's Soto, he's two for two on the walk, drove in a row. Cannot the get swept, but it looks like that's where we're headed. Drove in Oswaldo Cabrera. Ooh, heads up now. Inside. And he stares out. Yeah, curveball. A slider that just backed up. <laughs> Shouldn't smile while we're losing. <laughs> one on one. Oh man. This freaking stinks. Okay, long term, Mickey fans being brought back down to earth is probably for the best. Yeah, and it was bound to happen. It was bound to freaking happen. One, two on Soto. But it's funny because, like, I thought being brought down to earth was just like losing a game. Like, I remember saying that after uh, we lost the first game in Arizona. It's like, we had to lose a game at some point. Take his time out and regroup a little bit. Swing we're used to seeing from Juan Soto. I almost wish like they always played bad in the Rogers Center because I could just like chalk it up to that, but it's like they don't. Because really, if you just take this series out, like everything is—it's just this series that has been fucking horrible, dreadful, miserable, brutal, embarrassing. There's really not been—I mean, honestly, the only positive out of the series has been like Oswaldo still looks good. High drive, get out, bull. Get out, bull. Hey, let's go. Fuck yeah, Soto. He's... At least somebody's showing up. At least he's showing up. We'll take it. We will take it. It's almost like frustrating that we gave up those two runs, but... Like, it's hard to even celebrate as much, but hey. It's good to see some offense. 
Good to see some offense. That was a bomb. And we got the uh, distance on that. And good to see the dugout cheer and shit. That's cool. Nice to see a homer. Nice to see a homer. Good shit, Soto. Judge back to back. That'd be sick. Three eighty one word. Thank you. Quickly down on the count on two. Also his most five hundredth career RBI, and he's the seventh youngest player since nineteen seventy seven to get to five hundred career rookies. He's twenty five. Swing and a miss. Judge has struck out three times. He's over for four. Then he is. Over 12 in the series. And another look. Fastball right down the middle. Cabrera had confused Soto a little bit with the sliders. Challenges him with a fastball and does not get away with it. That back knee going straight down to the ground, giving him the drive and the power. Strike to Rizzo. It was an old Kevin Long thing, the hitting instructor for the Yankees back in the day. He loved that back knee driving straight down to the ground. Both of those guys were together in Washington. 0-2 on Rizzo. I would consider swipping, swipping, swapping, switching Judge and Soto. I would consider it. Maybe once DJ comes back again, I and mean, that's once DJ comes back, that is an out to just switch up the lineup without it making you seem like you're not even that you're panicking, but if you put DJ lead off, even though it'd be back to back righties, whatever. DJ Judge Soto. Stanton Rizzo. Volpe, Verdugo, Kleber. And then the catcher. I don't know. Just spitballing. Appreciate you guys being here again. John's throwing in a lineup here. Let me see, because I might agree. DJ, Judge, Soto, Stanton, Rizzo, Volpe, Verdugo, Cabrera, Wells, Trevino. I mean, I pretty much... I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree. At least, I mean, here's the thing. They're going to still play Glaber, at least for a good little while. And Gary, no, I don't think Judge's toe is still affecting his performance, because remember, he had a... Judge was insane in September. After the toe, like, he was destroying the ball, September 2023. So I really, I don't think so, no. Um, but yeah, John, I don't... It's a thought, dude. It's a thought. 
I think the lineup stays the way it is until DJ comes back. And who knows, maybe they look good this weekend against the Rays, but I do like the idea of that, particularly swapping Judge and Soto. Because, I mean, dude, that's, it's, it's, if you want to, like, and again, it's not even if, like, the Yankees or me being worried about Judge. It's about, like, okay, you know he's going to hit at some point. How do we kind of expedite that process and jumpstart it? You bat him ahead of Soto. I don't even care about gassing up Soto right now, to be honest. He's, he's a beast, but, like, it's not, we're not in Houston anymore, I mean. Nice, Waldo, dude, that's a crazy play. Yeah, Glaber's not being sent to the minors. A Rod, I miss A Rod. Are you happy that we have tomorrow to off off to reset, Dan? Or would you prefer a right back on the horse game the next day? Very good question, Fail. I'm actually kind of glad we have an off day tomorrow, I think. Especially because it's an off day, going back home. I think a reset tomorrow is definitely good. For sure. You know, with this series and obviously the way it ended in Cleveland, like, and guys aren't getting too many days off. Could use one probably. And, like, us as a fan, like, I, I mean, tomorrow when I wake up, I'll probably be like, it sucks you got to sit on it, you know? Like, I got to go through a whole Thursday. We got to go through a whole Thursday. And here's the name, that Yankee. With a three-game or four-game losing streak. That sucks. But I think, ultimately, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm pretty glad it's a reset. Has its positives and negatives, but, yeah. The reset is good. I think a reset will be good. What about you guys? You guys ready for an off day? Relax, Jason. What's Jason saying? Um, there goes the division lead. What is that? A what is the deal? The board, uh, Orioles. I keep combining words today. Yeah, Orioles are twelve and six, and the, do they win yet? Do they play yet? Oh, they're already one, two, get to twelve and six. And then yeah, once we're twelve and seven, yep. Yep. Here's the deal. Gotta get right for the race, obviously. Get back on track immediately. First game you win on Friday. Take two out of three at a minimum. And then you have I think the A's right after that. Directly after that with a four gamer. Sorry, yeah. Guys, it's right there for us to get back on track. Good series against the uh, the Rays. Take two out of three. Has to happen. Particularly, win on Friday. Win on Friday. Right back. Good energy at the stadium there will be. I just said it like Yoda. Good energy at the stadium there will be. And then a uh, four-game set against the A's. I mean, I want to say you have to sweep, but obviously the minimum take three to four. Because four-game series are tough regardless of who you're playing. And then, interesting series against the Brewers. We go to Milwaukee. Don't really know what the deal is going to be with that. But then, yeah, the big one. Four games against Baltimore. April 29th to April, or May 2nd. Okay, let's say the Yankees have a ninth inning comeback. Then, would you want the off day? Oh, hell no, Fayo. Hell no. The Yankees come back, bro. You give me some baseball tomorrow. But nah, yeah, I definitely think. Just with how flat they are. Like, I think a good, being able to re like a restart on Friday will be good as of right now. <laughs> not that it matters anyway. It's not like we're, I can like change the schedule if they win, but I think about that stuff a lot, Fayo. And always like the day off, I'm like, you know, I can use a day off tomorrow. But when tomorrow comes, I'll probably like, man, there's no game tonight. Whatever. Good question, though. Dan, what's your line about ducks? He's out as a duck. Well, yeah, like when people say like dead as a duck, but I like just use it for anything now. Like earlier I said he's safe as a duck, which doesn't make any sense. Do the Yankees practice during off days or just take the day off? A lot of times, yeah, they do. Tomorrow, though, I'm not sure if they'll have a uh, workout or not. All right, on to the ninth. 
Um, because they're gonna be traveling back. They're gonna head home tonight. Probably. I mean, it won't take that long for them to get back in New York. And then, uh, I'm sure they'll have something tomorrow. I'm not sure though. It'd be cool if we got more insight on that. Like their actual practice schedule. Oh, oops. I just hit Volpe's stat line. Nice picture of a video of Cap going deep. Can't wait for them. Can't wait for Cap to wake up, man. That'll be nice. Hey, thanks, Jack. Sends in two bucks. Appreciate you, bro. The 2022 Astros got swept by the A's long season. Yeah, I mean, shit happens. It's baseball. The worst team can be the, ba the best team on any day. But with that said, that's why I'm excusing the idea that, like, maybe they don't sweep, but they have to take three out of four from, from Oakland. And with the race, too, man. Like, I haven't been too caught up on what they're doing so far this year. I mean, okay, they're 10 and 8. And you can never count out the race. But, like, I don't care how this series went. We're better than the race. We're better than the freaking race. Beat them. Especially Friday. Got to bounce back with the win on Friday. The energy is going to be... The crowd's going to be loud. Yeah. This series has sucked, Jacob. This has been a horrible series. Miserable. At least we're not Houston. Eh. Well, at least they can fall back on a couple World Series less. Well, one. One real World Series, but you know what I mean. Whatever, though. I mean, I don't want to get like, too morbid here. This series stunk. This team's still very good. They just got to get back on track. Because no matter how good you are, if you don't play good, who gives a shit? I think they lost to Cleveland, killed some momentum. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit. I just this series would sting a lot less. Probably, eh, I don't even know about that. Because in the end, a sweep's a freaking sweep. But uh, that definitely like instilled panic a little bit more. Or like, in terms of fan base, brought the vibes down after the first couple of losses. And then getting swept today. I mean, that fucking. If we do get swept, like we lose this, four in a row, we're out of first place. It's not even a reality check to me because that would imply like, oh, this team's actually not good. Like, no. But it's a come to reality moment of, in terms of like baseball season. And just a reminder about like how this shit works. That you're going to have highs, you're going to have lows. And right now we're in a low. Not a great series for Stanton. There's so many pitches he's, I've seen that he could have crushed. Hey, IKF. I'm just questioning, what makes you think this team is really good? Are you just hoping they'll be good? Because without Soto, I think we have five or six wins right now. I mean, Max, because, dude, I mean, that's assuming that Judge just... Oh, high drive. Get out, bull. Get out, bull. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Let's go. They have players that are very good outside of just Juan Soto. And so far this year, it looks like Stan might be one of them. And I just jinxed him, bro. I said he has not been great this series. There's been so many pitches that he... Yo, is that leadoff too? Yo, we are not out of it, folks. We are not out of it. Lead off home run from Giancarlo Stanton. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Nice. Sweet. All right, solo shot. We're within one. Okay. Okay. But anyways, this team is good, dude. Outside of just Soto. Now... Soto's obviously in the upper echelon of, like, talent. Like, pretty much by a landslide. Outside of Judge when he's going normal. But. They're certainly. I'll give you this. They're not as good as they were in that four-game series against Houston. That was maybe a little unrealistic. But they're certainly not bad like this. Come on, Glaves. Also, in terms of, like, you can't just, like, exclude Soto about when talking about, like, when this team's really good. Like, outside of Soto, it's like, well, that's a big part of it. I think Verdugo will prove to be a really good addition for this team. 
I'll tell you the big difference maker though, and I said this a lot in preseason. Oh, let's go! Lead off single for Glaber. Let's settle in, folks. Let's settle in. Lead off single. Come on. Come on. Let's go, chat. All right, let me get Stan Homer up on Facebook. Yep, smoke that shit. That's awesome. Okay. That's exciting for Stan because kind of keeps up the momentum that we had this past week of him hitting well. He doesn't get rid of it. Is that his first home on the road trip, right? Yeah. Ooh. Good cut. Let's go, Verdukes. That was awesome. Shout out Glaber. That's huge. Now let's be smart. They got Miza up. Mesa, whatever the fuck. Then we got Verdugo. Good eye, a boy. Verdugo is Wells eight or nine? Wells is nine, yeah. Verdugo Cabrera Wells. Come on, Verdukes. Let's go, Verdukes. Shit's not over yet. Nope. Got a boy. 2 1. Come on. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. That's some, like, that's. I love that shit, bro. When the Yankees do good stuff, man. Oh, I love it. Like a Stan Homer, great. And then a Glaber single, bro. Like, oh, amazing. The 2 1. Ripped. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Folks, we're set up. We're set up. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Yo, yo. Give this team fucking one thing, bro. They show a lot of fight. And here we are set up second, third, nobody out. Let's go. Hell yeah. Another double for Dukes. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. No double play. No double play. Yep. Whew. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, there's 27 outs for a reason. Shout out Joe's McFly. 27 outs for a reason. Second and third. Here we go. Let's go, Wallow. Be smart. All right. First pitch strike. All good. Let's tie this shit up, baby. Come on. It's right there for us. I don't want to assume anything's going to happen because it's fucking baseball. Weird shit can go down. But we are set up. Let's go, Wallow. You're the guy. Let's go. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. Come on. Let's go. Cannot fucking blow this, man. I get nervous with Wells on deck, too. Shit, to be honest, dude, like, nah. Now, Wells can hit a fly ball. I was about to say you might want to pinch at Trevino, but if it got to it, just to guarantee a fly ball. Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go, Wallow. Be smart. You're the guy. Let's go. Oh, boy. What a fight. What a fight. <sighs> Shit. I am so fucking nervous, man. But we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this. Remember how we're talking about the lows are extremely low? Well, the highs will be extremely high if we come back with this shit. The time runs at third. Go ahead, runs at second. <sighs> come on. 0-2. Let's go, Waldo. Be smart. What do you say now, kid? Okay, what a fight. What a fight. I don't even know how the hell he hit that shit, but... The Blue Jays are gambling that a ball doesn't squeak through. Who would have thought, man? Like, even with two strikes here, but like, I, I trust Waldo like, almost as much as anybody in this lineup right now to get this job done. Even with two strikes. Few other guys that went up right now. Who would have thought that a year ago? Dude, he's fighting, man. He's, he's really fighting. Long nice. run for the oh! Careful now. There's Young Boone again. And could not come up. I do have the live chat off the side, folks, because I just want to. I don't want to get a chance of getting spoiled. Come on, Waldo. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. So, what do we have? We had a Stanton Homer. Glaber single, Verdugo double, and now we're set up. Second and third. Nobody out. Let's go, Wallo. Come on. I wonder if they go back to that high pitch. What are they going to do? Let's see. The 0 2. Rich? Ooh. I want to see what you guys are saying really bad, but I can't take a chance. Cannot take a chance. Uh, no FanDuel commercials right now. What the hell? Yes, ma'am. Broken bat. All right, I'll check real quick because you guys shouldn't be that ahead of me. All right, let's go. Here we go. What's up, yo? What's up? How we feeling? How we feeling? Nervous? Excited? Feeling good? I think I'm the true definition of anxious right now. Right? It's that com combination of nervous and excited. I'm nervous at the possibility of Wall, though, if he doesn't come through here and getting to one out and Austin Wells comes up, I'll be sh fucking shitting myself. For right now, it's much more towards excitement. 
Even with two strikes again, like, I'm feeling good. But if Wallace doesn't come through here, I'll be shitting bricks with one out and Wells up. Because he probably will put a shit ton of pressure on himself. Here we go, Waldo. Ground ball, slow roller. Oh, damn, man. Fuck. And here's where I shit myself, bro. Wells, please give me a fly ball, man. Please give me a fly ball. And that's going to do it for Swanson. Ah. Uh, all right. Pinch hit Trevino, man. They're bringing in the lefty. I trust Trevino, just as the mature hitter here, to be able to hit a fly ball. Yep. I mean, not an ex not a pinch. You're not pinch hitting Barry Bonds, but so Schneider knew the move, that's the move, man. He knew what Boone was going to do, and he said, "Let's get Swanson out and bring Mesa in." That's cool. That's cool. Trevino, at the very least, listen. I'm not gonna get all like recency bias. Be like, oh, he's hitting the ball well lately. Like he's a he's our better option offensively for the whole year than Austin Wells. I'm not giving up on Austin Wells. No, 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 no. But right now, I take the veteran hitter in a spot to be able to hit a fly ball and get one run in. Oh, hell yeah, we got 390 people in here. Let's go. Yeah, no, that stinks. That definitely stinks. But we still have it right there for us. Hit a fly ball. Just hit a fly ball. If they don't tie this, man, I mean, that's that's a fucking disgrace. Yeah, got to win this. Let's go. So they're bringing in Miza. Lefty against Trevino. I don't, honestly, so, so I feel okay about Trevino right now. I feel okay about Trevino. I mean, he should at least be able to make contact. Remember, there's no opportunity for a, there's no opportunity for a um, double play. Volpe, good lefty split. Ah, uh, I have to check now. I mean, I imagine he's better against lefties than righties, but I have to see. <laughs> if I wasn't watching you, I'd be passed out. <laughs> Dan Cruz, 630 OPS, veteran hitter. Okay, well, Jason, here's the thing. Listen, again, I'm not saying I'm all of a sudden becoming obsessed with Jose Trevino because he's hitting the ball well lately. I've preached more than anybody that Jose Trevino is not a good hitter, but I'm not asking for him to have a good OPS right now. I'm asking for him to hit a f to fly out. I'm asking Jose Trevino to fly out. So I don't care what his OPS is right now. Austin Wells struggling the way he is coming in a big spot. Lefty on lefty. Yeah, that concerns me a little bit. I'm not giving up on Austin Wells and I'm not all of a sudden hopping on the Trevino bandwagon. No. But I would consider him our better option right now to hit a fly ball. I'm asking him to get out. I'm asking Jose Trevino to get out. By no means am I thinking he's like some crazy home run hitter all of a sudden. No. I'm asking him to hit a fly ball to center field. Tie this shit up. I'm fucking cold in here, man. Especially when, like, you know when, like, you're cold and you get nervous? Like, that's where the shivers really start kicking in. And there's no opportunity for a double play. Shit, bro, I feel like fucking, uh... I feel like fucking Jack in the Titanic. Jack! There's a boat! All right, here we go. Let's crank this shit up. Come on. Here we go. Yo, Chad, if you're in here, do me a favor. Please drop a like on the video. Please drop a like. Come on, Trevine. Be smart. Good eye. Attaboy. Attaboy. Good call, Blue. 1-0. No, nah, no safety squeeze. Come on. Got to get this running. Give me a fly ball. Give me a fly ball. Ripped! Ah, ah, let's go! Let's go! No, my feet died! Ah. <laughs> Is that two runs? Is that two runs? Alright, the whole up. Still all good. There's one out. Let's go! How about that, Trevino? Let's go! Sorry, I just for some reason... I didn't mean to give whoever that was an I told you so face there. That's not what I was doing. I'm just fucking hyped. Let's go. Yankees tie this shit up. 27 outs for a reason. Let's go, Trevino. Trevino's low-key got ice in his veins. Ice in his freaking veins, man. Oh, God. My, my sound notification is up on this clip, but whatever. Alrighty. Let's go. We're all the way back, folks. We are all the way back. Fuck yeah, Trevino. Shit. There we go. There we go. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, Chad, I freaking love you. I can give you a big fat smooch on the lips. I cannot believe we just tied that shit up. Hold on, let me post this shit up. Maybe Trevino ties the game in the. Got my hands a little numb. I got to turn my AC down. Pinch. Let's go, chat. 
That a boy. Wow, Trevino has fucking balls of steel. He really freaking does. Because I've made some real big mistakes. Two two. Let's go. 2-2 two, two count. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, Volpe, smart. Be smart, yo. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. We really tied this shit up. And now let's take the lead. Let's take the freaking lead. Let me get this up on Facebook. Good eye. And a boy, Volpe. Come on. Our disciplined shortstop is back, I think. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, this would be such a win. This would be such a freaking win, yo. Yo, I see somebody sending a two super chat. I definitely will get to that um, once there's like a moment where I cannot risk, or I can risk not being spoiled. Come on, three, two, let's go, Volt. What do you say now, kid? God damn it, man. What are we doing, bro? Come on, Volp. You got to come through there, dude. God damn it. And now Mesa will go up against hey, but now we got Soto. That's tough, man. Let's see. There's a base open. Hey, thanks, Morgan. Send the five bucks. Dan, getting that good, good dinner tonight for sure. Hell yeah, dude. Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. That's the vibe. It's chill, bro. We tied it. Now you're right. You're right. You're right. Still, though. A fly ball would have been nice there, but yeah, you're right. It is tied. That is awesome. Not going to take that for granted, and we do have Juan Soto up. Fine. Make your jokes. I don't care. Walk Soto if you want. Let him get the judge. That's when he'll start hitting, and he'll come through. It almost feels poetic. I feel like that's what's supposed to happen. Go ahead. Walk Soto. Judge will come through. Let it happen. I don't care. Sure. Walk him to get the judge. Walk him to get the judge. Sure. I would love for them to do that. Yes. Please walk, walk Soto to get the judge. I'm not kidding. Fayo, me as well. Me as well. What are my thoughts on Judge this year? I am not concerned, but I am frustrated. He's got to get going, especially with how bad the offense has been. But for right now, it looks like they're going to pitch a Soto, which obviously they were going to. They might pitch around him, but let's see. First and third, two dead. Let's go. We're all tied up. All right, here we go. Big spot, so come on, just do your thing. Good eye, attaboy. Attaboy. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Now remember and we got Clay up and ready to go. Which it looked like Clay was the only guy warming, right? So I guess he's going to come in the ninth regardless. Is that what I'm seeing? I wouldn't be against that. Screw it. Mm. All right, one and one. And the shortstop Bichette is shading up the middle. There's a big hole on the left side. We know Juan Soto, the ability to drive the ball all over the field. Also, Clement is back at third. The chance to push the ball. One, one. Done. Ball outside. That a boy. Two and one. But Come on, Soto. Juan Soto wants to get a big hit here. Two, one. Verdugo at third. Trevino is at first. Let's go, Soto. Good eye, and a boy. Bro, let it get to judge. Let it get to judge. Would be perfect time. The perfect time for him to break out. And I think he will. Oh, man. I almost want it to happen, dude. Would love for Soto to come through here, but like, this is the time. This is the time for Judge to, to answer back. Let's go. Come on. All right, 3 1. Deals. Whoa! Bro, these umpires, man. I'd bash him upside the fucking head. She was at his fucking shins, dude. Give me a fucking break. Uh, nope. Why do you call that a strike? It was the same fucking pitch. All right, here we go. Here we go. That was literally an identical pitch, but whatever. Literally the same fucking pitch. All right, here we go. It is in Judge's hands. Game's already all tied up. It's not too crazy pressure. 
But yeah, this is the moment. I love that Soto shaking his head at uh at Miza. Mazer. Let's go, Cap. You're the fucking guy. We love you. Let's go. At a boy, good eye. Everybody loan your energy to Captain. Like a spirit bomb. I'm sharing my energy. Not that he needs it, he's just fine. Let's go, Judge. Come on. You're the guy. Man, see, he's definitely he's so locked up at the plate, dude. He's off, obviously. But he could have crushed that shit. Come on, Cat. You're the guy. Let's go. Blue! That's inside, man! Come on, dude! It's a bad fucking call. Take that fucking bat and whack them in the fucking head. Clearly inside. It's a bad. That's a horrible call, bro. Horrible call. This umpire, he might even, he might be like from Canada or some shit. Honestly, right. I'd love to know his background. Bases loaded. Two runs in. Game is tied. We're in the ninth inning. The captain of the Yankees at the plate. Good eye. Two and two. two, and two. Did he call that a strike two, Blue? Fucking dickhead. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Kay's better say that. Nope, never mind. And the pitch. No, good eye. That's a good take. Judge is coming back. That's a good take. Three and two. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit, folks. Yep. Yep. Oh man. Here we go. Everybody locked the fuck in. Here we go. Full count on Judge. Come on, Cap. Come on, Cap. Ripped. Let's go, Cap! Let's go, Cap! Let's go, Cap! Ah, ah! Let's go! That's my fucking captain, dog! <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Two run single, baby! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Where's all that fucking shit we've been talking, huh? And by we, I mean you. And not all of you, but you know who you are. That's my fucking cap right there. That's my fucking captain. Let's go. Fuck yes. Let's go. Oh. Oh my god. Fuck yes. Oh, I love it. Let me get this shit up on Yanks Ave. On fucking Instagram. <laughs> oh, bro, I fucking tell you, man. I fucking tell you, dog. Let's go, chat. I'll see what you guys have to say in just a minute here. Oh my god. Hold on. I gotta fuck, like, walk around and shit, bro. The one With a... One and one. Oh, yeah. Hands are nice and awake now. Go ahead. What was that? Two-run single, single the first. in the Since ninth. Two strikeouts and a foul out to third. That's our captain. 6-4 Yankees. Fuck yes. Fuck yes, chat. Let's go. All right, let me get this shit up. That's my fucking captain right there. You damn fucking right. Never a doubt. Never ever a doubt. Never will be a doubt. Because he's one of the greatest players of all fucking time. Uh-huh. 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 Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Uh. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Freaking gracious. As we were saying, the lows make the highs. Or the highs make the lows worth it. Caption is Aaron Judge comes through with a go ahead two run single in the nine. That's our captain, 6-4 Yankees. Yo, if you're in here, go to Instagram and say you're from YouTube. Go to Yanks Ave on Instagram. Give that shit a like and say you're from YouTube or something. Then my dad just saying, did something good happen? My dad's definitely hyped too. He hates the fucking Blue Jays. Let's go. Let's go. What up, chat? What up, chat? Oh, yeah. You're damn fucking right. You're damn right. He came through all rise. All freaking rise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we got a game. We got Clay coming in for the ninth. Let's lock this shit down. Oh, hell yeah. Joe Knott says in five bucks. Appreciate you, bro. Says never the doubt. Never uh, never doubt the cap. Let's go win this. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Oh, you're damn right, Tom. I'm hyped as shit. I'm hyped as shit. Been waiting for this moment. You're right. No, game is not over. Definitely game is not over. Oh, Vincent Casella. Yo, you're crazy, man. Appreciate you, dog. 
You have to do that. Sends in twenty bucks. Cap came through. You're damn freaking right, bro. Hell yeah, it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Rizzo's fighting up there, good AB. I can't believe it, yo. It's six four. It's yo, yo, fail. You're damn right. Where is Chris right now? I almost wish I wish I wish I could unmute Chris, man, to get him back in there to see what he thinks. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Oh. I'm gonna pin this comment. Already has 11 likes. This Pat.judge guy, I'm so sorry, our glorious king. Oh, I love it. It was bound to happen, man. It was bound to happen. That's why when he's going through that slump, I listen, I was frustrated too. I was frustrated as shit. Not concerned, but I was frustrated. But when there's a player that's done so much for you, so much for you as a fan base, as an organization, he's one of the greatest players of all time, has done nothing but been a perfect and amazing Yankee. When he's struggling and you have criticism, you do it with a little bit of nuance. That's all I asked throughout Judge's slump. And I get it. Jeter got booed in 05 during his 0 for whatever start he had. He got booed. Judge is going to get booed. They're both going to criticize whatever. But there's a certain way you go about it. And not everybody was doing that. And that shit fucking grinding my gears. Not everybody, but some people. Some people. And definitely Chris. Whew. Oh, man. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, the comments are great, man. See, I don't even, like, I don't even want people to be like, say like I made, I was wrong. I don't even care about that. I'm just glad, fucking. I'm glad. I'm glad. That's all I care. I'll say I'm glad. Also, judge will never say anything about it. 100 percent fail. 100 percent. 100 freaking percent. All right. <laughs> Chris giving us Chris is a bad name. Don't worry, Chris Foster. I know you're a good dude. I know you're a good dude, man. And yo, know, Chris, if you're watching too. The Chris we're talking about, you're normally a good dude too. I just don't know what got into you today. You were fucking tweaking and shit. But, yo. We're settled. We're good. Two-run lead. Clay Holmes coming in. All right. Let me uh, let me figure out what's going on here. Who's coming up for the Blue Jays? Who made the last out? God, I didn't know. It feels like so long ago. Is it Varsho? Okay. It looks like it's going to be the 8-9 and nine hole, which they're pinch hitting Daniel Vogel back to start off. Vogel back pinch hitting. I gotta get like a fresh post game ready. Still a lot of game left. Still a lot, well, not a lot, but there's still game left. Oh, <laughs> yo, I'm opening up my Photoshop app on my phone. Remember when this was the case? That's what we were looking at 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago, 4 2 loss, but nope. We'll change that to a 6. I guess I jinxed it because I already had the 12 and 7, 12 and second record, 12 and 7 record put in. All right. So as of right now, if they hold on, they would improve to 13 and 6, which, good God, that would just save the road trip. It would really save the road trip, folks. Yep. All righty. Let's go, Clay. Come on. All right, let's crank this shit up. I do got to get some things ready for Yanks Ave, but for those that are watching or not, we got the audio going. Let's go. Come on, Clay. Clay hasn't pitched in a little bit. He hasn't pitched, what, this series, and then this is outdated, but last he pitched was the 14th, I believe. Strike. Thanks, Blue, strike, ball, for making the correct call. That was that was a strike. Was. All right, so so Victor Gonzalez gets the win for his uh one third of an inning. If they hold on, I don't want to fucking jinx anything. You're good, Clay. Come on. And then uh, I guess it'd be Mize that gets the loss, right? Because he came in. These two teams don't meet again until the end of June. I don't know, but whatever. I don't really care. Miza gets the loss. That shit, if I'm inaccurate on which Blue Jays pitcher gets the L, I really couldn't give two freaking shits. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And a boy, look at that sinker, dude. 96, started his fucking hips. That's what we say to that. With a scoreless ninth inning Sunday in Cleveland, walked one, struck out one. Let's go, Clay. Popped him up. Had a boy. <laughs> Let's go. One dead. Volpe says, I've got it. And he yep. does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go, chat. Fuck yeah. New York Yankees, they may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the New York Yankees. Okay, we'll use. Here's Kiermaier. I would love a fresh judge pick, but I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm gonna have it in time. Don't know if I'm going to have it in time. Oh god, fucking Dan! This fucking VPN just shitted out on me during a freaking ninth inning 
comeback game. Let's crank this one up. Let's go, Clay. Lined into center field, coming on Judge. Mm. Base knock. All good. Let's get the next guy. Get the next guy. All right, let's go, let's go. Now we get top viewers, so again, not out of this just yet. And y'all, if you're in here, like the stream. Please like the stream. Helps out the channel a lot. And thank you guys for tuning in. So here's the dangerous George Spurrier. All right. Yeah, not dead yet. They're not done yet. Let's go, Clay. All right, I got this feed back up. Right. That slider's been so effective for him this year. Yep. One on one. Ah, dude, he, he looks. Clay looks nasty today. He's looked nasty most of the season. Makes you sweat sometimes, but Clay's been fucking good. Ah, oh, shit. It's a lot to handle. There we go. Wow. Inside. Nasty. Ball, but nasty. Two and two. Come on, Clay. A. O. All right, come on. Ground ball. Let's see if it No, uh, hurry up. Get one. Get one. Get one. Get one. Yes. Big. Let's go. Let's go, chat. One more. One more. One more, and I'm telling you right now, this is the greatest victory of the season so far. Outside of like, you know, you beat the Astros, that's fucking hype because it's the Astros. But in terms of comebacks, this takes number one. If they hold on. And they got fucking Fatty Vladdy up right now. Let's go chat. Let's go chat. Yep, one more. One more. It's all lock in. It's all lock in. Let's go. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Oh, no, my camera's a little bit fucked up. Did I do that? Oh, yeah, get out of here, bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, get out of here. Take your fucking fat ass back into the clubhouse. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, get the fuck. Yeah, look him dead in the eye. Tell him to get the hell out of your face. Fuck him. I'd say this has gone both ways too. Every nah, blue's fine. Blue's off. fine. Everything's all good. We're all good. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Boo. You get yourself a fucking Big Mac. I'm going to get one after. Not a Big Mac, but I'm going to get some sort of good dinner after this. Spicy chicken sandwich from Wendy's. And possibly a Baconator. But I work out unlike this guy. Schneider. Not a fan of him. Never been. Never been. The yep, see you. All right, let's go, Clay. I am fucking sweating. Sweating bullets. Let's go, Clay. What do you say now, kid, huh? The 0-1. The 0 -1. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let me see if the Yankees have uploaded any judge pictures. He's not thinking base hit RBI. He's thinking one big swing. Oh, I love him. I love Aaron Judge. Oh, I imagine we called that a strike. You're good, Clay. Come on. Just keep pounding that sinker. Don't leave nothing up. My hands are shaking and my knees are weak. Strike. Yep. Thank you, Blue. Looked a little bit high, but we will take it. I can't seem to stand on my own two feet. Uh, 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 I'm in love. I'm all shook up. Let's go, Clay. One more. Come on. One more. Ground ball up the middle. Volpe diving stop. He has time. Oh, let's go. What a fucking play, man. And what a win. What a win. What a win, dude. What a freaking win, man. 
What a play. What a win. 27 outs for a reason. Don't give up on this team. Don't give up on this team. Maybe you thought they were bringing us back to reality for a minute. But yo, this, this game just reminded us, don't ever give up on this team. Don't ever give up on this team. They're a good fucking ball club. Yankees win. Salvage the series. Boy, oh boy, is that huge. Instead of being 12 and 7, instead of being 12 and 7, we're now 13 and 6. Off day tomorrow. Big series against the Rays this weekend at home. Oh my god. Oh, that's a huge one. That's the biggest one of the year. Biggest one of the year. Fuck yeah, Volpe. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Let's go, chat. Let's go. Let me post this up on Yanks Ave real quick. Yep. Cap came through. Cap came through. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I can't wait to make this highlight video. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. What a win, man. Let's see. Which my cap can be? The Yankees come back to beat the Blue Jays. I'm calling this the biggest one of the year. Cool. Yankees come back to beat the Blue Jays. Let's see. Come back to beat the Blue Jays. 6-4 to four for their biggest win of the season. I don't know how say so far. I mean, that's, that's implied. Obviously, it's so far. All everything is is so far. Okay, cool. Let's go. Fuck yes. Huge win. Amazing win. I have gone from the floor of the basement to the top of the motherfucking world. Let's go, chat. Let's freaking go, chat. How are we feeling? We feeling good? Hell yeah. Way to fight. Yo, shout out to everybody that's stuck together in this thing. <laughs> Feo says it's 10 bucks. Too bad we have an off day tomorrow. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Now we got an off day. Yeah. Or now we have a day off after the win. Funny how that works out, man. Funny how it works out. But we will freaking take it, dude. We will freaking take it. Let's go. <laughs> Dan, I think I lost water weight. I'm sweating. Bro, me too. Can you see? Like, I'm like shining and shit. What up, played by Volpe Fax. Uh, again, shout out to everybody who was in here. Um, we've been kicking it all day. Obviously, it was a tough game, tough series. And then through the end, though, it was well worth sticking by it because what a comeback, man. What a freaking comeback. That was dope. Um, we are maybe back tomorrow for some sort of a stream. We'll figure it out. But uh, thank you guys so much for being in here. You truly are fucking awesome. That was sick. This team is awesome. Let's not forget that just because they had a bad couple games. Huge game. Biggest one of the year. Off day tomorrow. Three games set on Friday. Starting Friday at home, Yankee Stadium. Weird how all the complainers go quiet at the win. Exactly. Fail. Funny, isn't it? A absolutely. Um, yep. Absolutely, jo Julie. You got it. Streaming tomorrow again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Sub before you head out. Absolutely, Morgan. Thank you for reminding everybody. I got to head out and make highlights. That was awesome. I can't stop yapping about it. Thank you guys so much. Let's go Yankees. See you guys next time. Let's go Yankees.